shout. If you are in the presence of the Lord, and you know the Lord is about to do great things in the house, stand up on your feet and give the Lord a shout. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please, just talk to your neighbor. Do you know that this is the last vigil? Oh, I can't hear you say that. online, I've been following online, I say I can't miss this night. Hallelujah. So once again, I want to welcome everybody to the last vigil of destiny, 2023. Wow. For those joining us online, you're welcome. Wherever you're watching from, from the satellite churches, you're welcome. Can you lift up your hands to heaven wherever you are? See, I want to say, Lord, thank you for making me not just a participant, Oh, but the receiver of what you have for vision of destiny. Lift up your voice to heaven uh, and say, Lord, thank you, thank you, uh, thank you, thank you. Uh, Lord, we bless your name. Rikete to Zutalana. Rikoto Zikataya. Repate Zikatala. Ripreketa Dilo Prokoto Zilaba. Blessed be the holy name of God. In the name of Jesus. We want to thank God for the first night, the second night, the third night. I want to bless the Lord for this particular night. Can you lift up your hands and send me, Father? Oh, I can't hear everybody send me, Father. Thank you for the first night. Thank you for the second night. Thank you for the third night. Thank you for this night. Open your mouth and bless the Lord. Rico Shakata. Rekete Telaba. Reprete Zilade. Rekete Telebosha. Rika Talade Zuduta. Repate Teleboya. Reke Jata. Reka Talabozo Hotia. Ezeta Tela Tila. Ezeka Tela Dila. Epratele Bela Baradila. In the name of Jesus. This is the last night, and I know always the bottom part is always the sweetest. Ah! It means whatever you didn't get the first night, the second night, the third night, this night, you will get it. Can you lift my hands and be Father? I don't know about my neighbor. I don't know about my neighbor. But tonight is my night. It's my night. Open your mouth and talk to God. Rikatanadala. Eshatata. Rikotota. Repatayada. Retedata dadi. Ebrakata katosuta. Ebratala barabosha. Eshakata. Rikatanada. Repatalaba. Reprobrade. Azaza zuzu zuzu, e prata te te dia, e pra pra kata la gita, e shaka to lo kabara, re kata la bara bara ba, re koto to to la ba, ya ta 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 ta, re koso susa. In the name of Jesus. Last thing we want to say, Lord, we don't just need an ordinary miracle tonight. We need a wonder tonight. Ah! We don't just need to say, oh, God came. We felt him. No! 
Lord, we need something that will shout and our mouth will be open. Ah! Can you throw a hand service and say, Father, Father, tonight, visit us with wonders, with wonders, with wonders, with wonders. Open your mouth and cry out to God. Record to Talaba, let's shout at Talaba, a brat at Talabosha, a shout at Talaba, a brat at Talabosha. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I know you came expecting something. Ah. Ah. 2023 vision of destiny is not coming again. So if you miss it tonight, you wait another one year. Can you say, tell your neighbor, neighbor, not me? Not me. Not ah, me. say, neighbor, neighbor, not me. Not me. In one minute, if you can kneel down, if you can lie down, if you can raise up your hand and say, Lord, I register myself on your attendance tonight. That you won't pass me by tonight. Uh. Can you open your mouth and just make it a prayer? Lord, I register myself tonight. Uh. That you won't pass me by tonight. Le koto loko parakata la da. Le koso so su 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 su. Le parakata la ba. Ya da da ga da la ba. Le koto do do do. Ya ga se so su sa. Le kata da ya ya. Le prata la bosa. E kata ya das. In Jesus, I to never pray. Amen. Before I leave, I want us to do something. Just hold the hands of your neighbor. Hold the hands of your neighbor. It's going to be awesome if everybody here goes home with a testimony tonight. And say, Lord, mercy upon my brother. Mercy upon my sister. Can you just cry out to God? Say, Lord, mercy upon my brother. Mercy upon my sister. Lord, let everyone go with a testimony tonight. Riko sataya baraboy. Rakata la kata la kata la da. Riko sosa zizaza. Leta rendran dondo trida duru. Raga raga baraga duru duru. Ezu du 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 du. Ezu ga se ke zuvu 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 du. Ezu ga se ga se ga se ne du du du. E pratendo. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Just lift your hands and just appreciate God for answered prayers. Oh, just wave it to him, wave it to him. Can you wave it to him? Can you add a shout? Oh. I don't think the ground heard you shout. I don't think the ground heard you shout. Somebody shout! Hallelujah! Before I leave, once again, you're welcome. To the last night of the vigils of destiny, 2023. Hallelujah! With a clap and a shout, can we make welcome the heartbeat? Put your hands together! Praise the Lord. Please, you can sit down. You can sit down. Hallelujah.
effect. I would like to I would like to I would like to introduce No, I don't keep it like best way in destiny, don't leave me My brother, where the world is there now? Where the way the country is there now? Huh? Where subsidies don't come, while transportation, this one, that one. So worry me, my brother. Why me? Why me? Come on, carry you go on, but you put them for your body, go to go to sharp, sharp. You run them for many people. Feel like best way in destiny, don't leave me eye. On a neighbor here of the bejeez of destiny, this Friday, now the last Friday, now the grand finale, our people say, bottom pot, now in sweet pa. Me gonna no go any babalawo. Me gonna no go any place where no they correct. Me gonna follow me. Make we go this VG. On a go see blessing in your face. I'm gonna leave this man to more the ball. You they use your fuxia to play. You they use your generation to play. You they use your next generation to play. You are doing rubbish. Things that you are doing good. You are doing lunatic, lunatic escalopedia precalculation of Jajatica. Jews of Destiny 2023 with the theme Goodness and Mercy. Purchase your tracks today. with the theme goodness and mercy lift your hands let go a no more shatalaba whoever was the man against you 
whoever was that society against you, the organization against your assignment, tonight the Lord delivered them into your head. In the name of Jesus Christ. Anything resisting your money, resisting your members, resisting your marriage, resisting your health, resisting your destiny, resisting your growth. Let the power of God scatter them tonight. Somebody jump on your feet and shout fire. Witness the might of the Jabari. First time. Like the fire, I'm better. Give me, give me. 
your life. You will die young and never know what it means to get old. You will walk like elephants and eat like ants. You will remain under my bondage from generation to generation. Because your soul is mine. Your soul is mine. <laughs> Talk to me. My son. The burden of this clan will be upon you the rest day of your life. Papa, what are you talking about? Uh, Papa, what are you talking about? Uh, our father. Our father. Our father made a clan with a guansu. Uh, 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 and the thing, the thing he has been with him, and he goes to view of him from generation to generation. Uh, uh, my son, an entire clan succumbed to it. Never, uh, never, Papa. Uh, never are we going to be under the control of this uh, no talent element. Uh, uh, my son, don't do something foolish because this being. Is so powerful. <laughs> Papa, 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 no, Papa, no, Papa, no, Papa, stay with me. Papa, stay with me. Papa, stay with me now. Papa, stay with me now. Papa, stay with me now. Papa, 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 Papa,
Pull up, Mbora. Considering what Mazi Elendu said before he died, what are we going to do? Hey! Yes, so what are we going to do? It is obvious why we have been in bondage. My people, we have been under the leech of the clan of Equus. <sighs> my brothers, my sisters, it's obvious that we are handicapped. There's nothing we can do about this. Nothing. Never. Never again. Are we going to be under the mercy? I mean, mercy of the kind of a base. My people. It's time for us to stand strong. It's time for us to be strong and fight. No more. No more. Are we going to allow the negative influence continue to ruin us? We must fight. Hmm. My brother, we know that you are grieved. Tell him. But you talking about fighting. Our fathers, they never fought. Whoa. And we, we don't know how to fight. Talking about fighting, who are we fighting with? We just had a quenzu. Did we know we... If you're talking about fighting, I, I we will go. not fighting too. Because Ebuka, I don't know. Ebuka, 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 come, come, come. Ebuka, come. I understand your fears. I understand how fearful all of you are. But we cannot fold our arms and watch this go wrong. We need to fight. We need to show these people we are made of something. Are you not tired? Are you not tired of this suffering? We are. Are you not tired of this suffering? We are. So, I will take us to a place where they will fortify us. Where they will give us strength. Where they will train us. So, my people, are you ready for war? Are you ready for war? Yes. Are you ready for war? Yes. If you're ready for war, let's go! Let's go now. Well, let's go. We did not come alone. I stand 
on this altar and I pronounce someone whose amen is the loudest, you will never weep again. Whatever is at the root of your pain, another amen breaks it on the spot. I declare to somebody that situation will turn out to God's glory. That condition will turn out to God's glory. That financial burden will turn out to God's glory. That family disaster will turn out to God's glory. Shout amen. Let your amen rise. You will have eyes to see, ears to hear. You will not walk in darkness. You will not walk in darkness. You walk by power. You walk by revelation. You will not walk in darkness. All those that have a reason to put off your light. Today, we put off their own light. We put off their own light. We put off their own light. Let your amen rise. Turn the fire open. the world which means you possess and carry the covenant of Ebenezer the covenant of El Shaddai the covenant of Rehoboth from today you shall not die small there shall be no loss because you possess and have the life of Zoe go and be blessed for you are the best. Now, get out and never return. If whosoever my father redeem is redeemed indeed, when your amen rises, take your portion. has already provided our deliverance you are meant to stand on covenant platform somebody say covenant so as you are hearing me today as you stand on that platform may your deliverance be radical may your deliverance be quicker may your deliverance be immediate stand on your feet and shall power It's the last night of vigils of destiny. Somebody rise to your feet. If you can jump up, if you can, somebody shout. If you 
hear that words that come out of your mouth. Let them hear the sweet words that come out of your mouth. I just want you to lift up your voice. If you believe that Jesus is here, I want you to raise a sound to the King. Raise a sound to the Lion of the tribe of Judah. The one away, the one who blessed you, the one who kept you, the one who raised you. Lion Just lift your hands everywhere you are. Just wave it to the king you came to meet. Everywhere you are, lift up your voice and pray in the Holy Ghost. You came to meet somebody. You came to meet a king. You came to meet your God. You came to encounter the Almighty. You came for your life to change. And Drake Porakataha. Italagabayake prehetorabasha. 
in a telegebe ya kaparakata in preketo rebaza in shakia kekeberekota lift up your voice pray in the holy ghost with a loud voice ya kabaya tolege ya kabasha in telegebaraka to reboshke in treno kapraga daladosha in talagabaya kebreke de reboza in shakia kebreke de reboza Lift up the hand above your head. Thank you, Father. Somebody with a live voice shout, Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Can you lift your hand again with a live voice scream? Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I'm going to allow you the last time. Can you lift your hands with a loud voice? Scream, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Once again, while you're standing, whether you're inside, outside, on the overflows, as far as you're able to get into the compound, it is well. Have you seen what is happening outside? Can you give the Lord a clap offering for what is good? Nowhere to put human being. Compound full. If you can get in here, you, are, you, you, you did well. What a good God we serve. Are you happy at what God is doing? Now, but before I sit down, I want you to remember this. That it's number one in the atmosphere we create. Number two, in your eye being on the master. You see, one of the things you need to remember is this. If you go to Winners Chapel today, Amen. If you go to Winners Chapel today, you will see some people that have followed Papa Yenebo for 10 years who are still struggling financially. You are not hearing me? What happened to their sound? Praise the Lord. Those at the back, if you can hear me now, shout Amen. Please, can we be sure that everything is put right? Glory to God. Please listen to me. Are you here? If you go to any church where the pastor preaches on healing, like you see Dr. Paul do, a minister, some people in that church still die of sickness. If you see somebody that preaches prosperity and commands a blessing like Papa Yedebo, there are people in that church for 10 years who can't feed themselves. You can get so engrossed with celebrating a church or a man that you forget that you are individually looking for something. Is anybody hearing me? And when you come to a meeting like this, when you come into a meeting like this, please, those at the back, you will hear me if you are quiet. And please respect the fact that you are in the presence of God. Okay? Now, if you come into a meeting like this, 
I say to you on the first night of this program, they asked Catherine Kuhlman when she was ministering, how is it that thousands come into your program? Many get healed. And still multitudes go back with their sicknesses. Catherine Kuhlman said, how people get healed? I don't know. But one thing I know. Those who see Catherine go back with their sicknesses. Those who see Jesus go back with their healing. I need you to know. If you came to see a man, your crisis continues. I will minister tonight. Jerez will minister tonight. We'll have a beautiful time in the presence of God. But if you are looking for a man, you will go home without an answer. But if you see Jesus, if you see Jesus, if you see Jesus, if you see Jesus, if you see the one who died and rose again, if you see the one who broke the power of Satan hell and the grave, if you see your master here, he won't go back the same. Lift your hand and say, I apply, I apply. for the mercy of God on this altar tonight. Let me hear again say, Father, I apply for your mercy on this altar tonight. Lift your voice and apply for mercy here tonight. Apply for mercy. Apply for mercy. Apply for mercy. Lift up the hand higher than your head. I see God give you beyond your expectation. Amen. Everything that is your request will be exceeded tonight. Amen. Diversities of encounters that will define you will begin here tonight. Amen. By this meeting tonight, the next one year of your life shall be secured with ease. Amen. In that one year, you will have 10 years in one year. Amen. Out of this altar tonight, mercy will locate you. Amen. Mercy will locate your father. Amen. Mercy will locate your mother. Amen. Mercy will locate your children. Amen. Mercy will locate your generation. Amen. When you are a man rises, take another portion. There are battles you have been fighting for years. Out of this altar tonight, my God, fight your battle. Amen. Anything that stood on your way and reduced your destiny out of this altar, that thing died tonight. There's ground. It's a place where hope resurrects. Amen. It's a place where hope resurrects. Amen. I trust the Holy Spirit that your life will never remain the same. Amen. Now finally, please we expect everyone outside to honor our protocol and our ushers. We expect you, if you are going to be within our vicinity, to honor us. And we want you to know, I'm talking to you and I'm the lead pastor and I take responsibility for everything I say, that we will not relent to use force to move you if you misbehave. Because there are some young people that are moving up and down. 
Find a place and sit down. If you know George is one, you will not want relate to him. Move you. We don't want any kind of nonsense in this environment. We came to seek God. If you didn't come to seek God with us, go back home and stay your night. Or go to a nightclub. This is the house of God. Can you give the Lord a beautiful clap of God? So anyone like that, please understand, we are here for serious business. If you can't handle that, even if your mother forced you to be here, go home. We came here to encounter God. Give the Lord a clap as you get seated. Praise the Lord. We apologize for that. I don't know what's happening to the sound, so let's just move on. Say, praise the Lord. Can you give a smile to someone beside you? Please let the lights come on in the auditorium, please. They need to see me, and I need to see them. Welcome to day four, night four, VOD 2023. Is somebody excited? We have done the first night, the second night, the third night. Today is the bottom pot. We are ready to receive of the Lord tonight. Praise the Lord. Please, let me give you this short announcement before I proceed. We have toilets here. This is altar of mercy ground and this is a place of excellence please don't urinate or don't do anything other than in the toilet please the toilet is by my left on the other side we have enough to serve you please let's keep this place tidy let's keep this place smelling well so that the holy ghost can move well hallelujah my name is Tara Dita Ojoko and I am the one and only love doctor in this part of the world I'm the pastor in charge of the Family Life Service Group, Gateway International Church. And so on behalf of Pastors George and Manuela Izunwa, I want to especially welcome you to this night of God's encounter and transformation in the name of Jesus. So I'm going to be leading you in our covenant confession right now. I hope it will be displayed on the screen. So if it's not displayed, you will say after me. At the count of three. One, two, three. I am a citizen of God's kingdom. I live for God. I live by his word. I walk in his spirit. 2023 is my year of Zoe. The God life. Today, in response to Romans chapter 10, verses 8 to 11, I reaffirm my confession.
confession of faith in Jesus Christ. I believe the truth that Jesus died and rose from the dead. I believe that his sacrifice paid the price for all my sins. I believe that he is seated in heaven with God the Father. I believe that he's coming back again to take me home. I believe that in him and through him, I am blessed with all the blessings of God. I believe that Zoe powers me for destiny dominion. Therefore, I cannot fail. I am free from every demonic bondage. My DNA is supernatural. I am a born in on a shining light. Money multiplies in my hands. Goodness and mercy follow me at all times. Nations open their gates and treasures to me. I put God first. I pay my fight. I am a soul winner. I serve in God's kingdom. My life works. My faith works. My relationships work. My business works. Everything works. I win every battle of destiny. My covenant place is at the topmost top. On my path, there is no sickness nor death. Only good things are permitted in my life. There shall be no loss nor evil report in my life this year. And I am an evidence. Can you say that again? As you have spoken in his ear, so shall he do for you in the name of Jesus. Please relax and enjoy the rest of the night. Hallelujah. Is somebody happy here tonight? Can you lift your right hand and wave it to the most high God? Can you lift up the other hand and wave it to the most high God? Somebody make a noise tonight! This is Vigils of Destiny, day four. The last Friday. Your blessing will not pass you by in the name of the Lord Jesus. Is somebody believing God for something tonight? Are you ready tonight? My name is Ololebu Nathaniel. Daddy, thank you. Mama, thank you for this privilege. Uh, I'm not taking it for granted. Thank you for the honor of standing at the altar of mercy. The Lord will show me mercy. And the Lord will show you mercy tonight in the name of the Lord Jesus. And this night is the night of mercy. It doesn't matter what they told you, what, what is happening in your home, what is happening in your life. I don't care what happened to you before you came here. Tonight, the Lord will show you mercy. It doesn't matter what somebody said against you. The Lord is here to show you mercy tonight. In the name of the Lord Jesus. My name is Sunalebu Nathaniel. I'm privileged to be one of the pastors in this great house. In this house... In this house, I'm the mission pastor and outreach directorate of this great house. And out there, I own and operate a private security company. Everything about security, your car, your life, your, <laughs> your church, your all, we secure. Hallelujah! This night, I have a simple assignment to take you through corporate prayer. And our team tonight is negative verdict, verdict is canceled. Negative verdict is what? Canceled. We're going to pray in a short while. Let me show you something from the scriptures. In the book of Genesis chapter 49, verses 3 and 4. Something happened. He said, Reuben, thou art my firstborn, my might, and the beginning of my strength, the excellency of dignity, and the excellency of power, unstable as water, thou shalt not excel, because you went to my bed and defiled it. He didn't stop there. He said again, he, he said he went to my bed and he went to, he went to my couch 
and defile it. Praise the Lord. The second one, he was like he was reporting that son to somebody else. The father calls him Jacob, and immediately everything about him went down. Our daddy said, when God wants to bless a man, he will send him somebody. Just as God has sent him today, and all the great men he has been bringing to change your life and speak peace upon your life. Praise the Lord. In Deuteronomy 33, there was a reversal of that course. He said, Moses, when he was about dying, he called the Israelites and was trying to bless them. He said, let Reuben live and not die. And let not his men be few. I don't know who said you will die. I don't know who counted you out. I don't know who said you won't amount to anything. But I came here tonight to tell you that you are what God said you are. And no man have any other thing to say about you. If you believe that, stand to your feet. Say, my father. My father. Say, my father. My father. Tonight, Tonight, I reverse I every cause against my life. Cause of father. Cause of father. Cause of mother. Cause of men of God. I reverse it tonight. 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 No Jesus said we are praying. Amen. Lift up your right hand, say after me, say, My Father. My Father. Let every challenging, let everything challenging my life. Let everything challenging my life. Perish tonight. Perish tonight. Say, My Father. My Father. Everything challenging me. Everything challenging me. Let it perish tonight. Every situation challenging me. Let it perish tonight. Any man challenging me. Let that one go down tonight. Oh, pray. Lord, I said no to everything challenging me. Every power challenging me. Every situation challenging me. Let them go down tonight. I said no to everyone. My life to stop me. Stop in the name of the Lord Jesus, the name of the Lord let Jesus. that thing go down right let now. Down. I reject it now. Reject let it sickness now. die. Let, sickness let die. disease let die. Disease let die. Affliction die. die. In the name of the Lord Jesus, open your mouth and pray. Let every pattern of hell in my life be reversed. No more sickness. No more disease. No more affliction. No more failure, no more poverty, no more delay, no more pain. Radeke <laughs> <laughs> 
Somebody shout amen. amen. In the book of Isaiah chapter 6, verse 1. Isaiah chapter 6, verse 1. It says, in the year that King Uzziah died, I saw also the Lord seated upon the throne, high and lifted up, and his train filled the temple. There is somebody that needs to die before you can get to where God wants you to go. There is a man, there is a woman that needs to go down before you become who God said you will be. Anyone standing as Goliath before you. Anyone standing as Uzziah before you. Fire! Anyone operating as your God. Fire! Somebody shall fire. Fire! Say my father. My father. Every King Uzziah. Every Goliath, Goliath, every strong man, every strong strong woman, woman, saying no to my breakthrough, saying no to me, in the name of the Lord Jesus, Jesus. expire, 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 Somebody shout amen. Amen. Say my father. My father. Anyone. Anyone. Standing as King Uzziah. Or as Goliath. Goliath. Over our father in the law. Over Gateway Church. Over our program. Right now. now. We command you. you. Go down now. As we pray now. We we command you to go down. Open your mouth and pray against every enemy of the church. Every enemy of the church. Every enemy of our late pastor. We are not an ambassador. Every enemy of the church. Every enemy of the church of Jesus Christ, wherever you are, let there be no hiding place for you. Wherever they gather, wherever they gather, we dispatch them by fire, by fire. Somebody shall fire. Fire. Somebody shall fire. Fire. Listen to me. Anytime you stand before God, you are not standing alone. 
Your family is standing behind you. You didn't hear me. I say anytime you are standing before God, you are not standing alone. Your family is standing before you, behind you. Say, my father. My father. I carry along. I carry along. Everyone connected to Everyone me. Everyone connected to I me. I pray tonight. I pray tonight. No one will go down. No one will go down. No one will be sick. No one will be no sick. One will die. No one will die. Under my watch. Under my Say, watch. Say, my father. My father. As you help me tonight, help, help me everyone following me. Everyone, everyone connected to me. In the name of the Lord Jesus. I carry my mother along. I carry my father along. I carry my brothers along. I carry my sisters along. No one is going down under my watch. No one is going down under my watch. Somebody shall fire. When you see somebody under attack of any kind of sickness, maybe cancer, maybe a kidney problem. Daddy said that there is a, 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 a spirit giving that in life. Say, my father. My father. Every spirit, every spirit behind what I'm going to. What are you waiting for? What are you waiting for? God fire tonight. God fire tonight. God fire tonight. I break out of sickness. I break out of pain. Somebody shall fire. Fire. In the book of John, chapter 11, if you read from verse 44, before then, Jesus, Jesus, they, they came to meet Jesus, that his friend was about to die in Lazarus. And Jesus said, this sickness is not unto death. Do you know that Lazarus still died after Jesus said you will not die? Four days later, Jesus came to resurrect him. The sisters withstood him. He said he has been there for four days. He should be smelling by now. Sisters withstood him. And Jesus came to the grave and called him up, Lazarus, rise. I don't know who is dead here. Jesus said you wouldn't die, but you still die. Maybe you are still walking, but tonight you are rising. Amen. Jesus said, rise. Lazarus woke up. Power was still holding him in the grave. They call it grave cloth. They tied him legs, even face. Say, my father. My father. Every power tying me. Every power holding me. I say, I will die. I say, I will die. I say, I will rise. In the name of the Lord Jesus. I come against you by fire. Begin to vomit fire. I refuse to die. I can't turn on my door. But he is holding me back. Because Jesus has restored me. I am alive. I am awake. 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 I am that's one prayer that he prayed many years ago. He said, Lord, I can't help myself. Help me. Is somebody ready to pray that prayer tonight? 
Say, my father, my father, I can't help myself. I can't help At myself. this altar of mercy, this headquarters of altar of mercy, Lord, help me to I can't help myself. Oh, we are not making the prayer. Amen. Lift up your hands. May the Lord help you tonight. Amen. What you came here looking for, may you never live here without it. Amen. May the Lord exceed your expectation. Amen. I pray over you. What you, the prayer you've been making all through this month, you won't repeat them again in your life. Amen. If you believe that, shout it louder. Amen. Amen. Somebody make some noise. I can hear you. Wave your hands. Wave your hands. Wherever you are, wave your hands. Make some noise. Make some noise. Make some noise. Somebody say yeah. Say yeah. Say yeah. Something, rub something, rub it, rub it, rub it, rub it, rub it. If you don't have, pull off your handkerchief, pull off your head tie, rub it, make some noise. Hey, somebody said, God must answer me today. Some of you are still sitting down. Tap your neighbor sitting down. Say, neighbor, why are you sitting down? Are you playing? Hey, kabaya da da da. Hey. Uh -huh. Glory, 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 glory. Yes, sir. Oh, yeah, wave on, wave on, wave on, wave on, wave on. Can I hear the loop? Somebody say master. Somebody shout master. Hey. Yes. Master, 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 master. All you have done, thank you, Lord, giving us this day. Master, you know that song. Master. Uh huh. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory, 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 glory. Aha, can I hear the volume? Oh yeah, wave something. Let's go. Come on. Can I hear the loop? Volume on the loop. Oh yeah. Come on. Come on. Hey. Shit, 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 shit. Master, 
look for a neighbor. Somebody look for a neighbor. And shout, he grow. This way, this way, this way. Watch me, watch me. Are you ready? Somebody say, he grow. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Lift your hand, the power of God is on the place. The hand of God is creating your results. The hand of God is creating your results. While you are worshiping and praying in the Holy Ghost, let cancer begin to disappear. Let blindness begin to come. Let deaf ears begin to open. Let crutches be released. Let the power of infirmity be cut off. Just lift up the hand. Every hand higher than your head. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. For the Lord God Almighty. Something is about to happen right now. Go ahead. Everyone pray in the home. 
Holy Ghost, only the instrumentalist, hallelujah. Open your mouth in the Holy Ghost. Hey, I don't shagadada, I don't shagadada, I don't shagadada. What is the love? What is the love? You are holy. Lift up the hand. Somebody that came in tonight with something that looks like a growth on your throat area. The growth has gone. If you can confirm that, start coming to the altar. A woman that hears noise on the ears, the noise just switched off now. Amen. Your ear can hear well if you can confirm that run to the altar right now. Somebody that couldn't move your shoulder for more than one year. But now you can lift your hand with ease. The shoulder is released. If you can confirm that run to the altar right now. There are somebody that has been having pain on your spine for more than six months. To bend backward and forward is a problem. But you can confirm now that you have been healed. You can run out to the altar. Everywhere you are, you check yourself while we are worshiping. Something walked out of your body. Something left your eyes. Something left your ear. Something left your back. If you check yourself and you can confirm what Jesus did. Everywhere you are, start coming to the altar right now. Jesus has done something in your life. When you say thank you, he says take more. Check yourself. Something left your ear. Something left your back. Move right now to the altar. Everybody lift up your hands while we worship the Lord. Open your mouth and thank him while we celebrate him. Keep coming and waiting for you. Mateleko Shahata. We give you praise, Jesus. We give you honor, Jesus. You are the one that breaks yokes and takes away burdens. Come on, check that thing. Matolobo Shaha. Laki Kakakaka. Someone that came with a vibrant growth. The growth has melted. If you touch the place now, it's no longer stiff. You can come to the altar. A breathing disorder, somebody outside that has been taken away. Check yourself, confirm, and run to the altar. Everybody lift your hand and shout, power! Lift up your voice. More than 48 of you got an answer right now. Anyway, if you check yourself and notice something happened to you, run to the altar immediately. You don't wait until the night is over. Right as you are coming now, things are happening. Things are happening. A lady with terrible pain on the breast. The pain has just left you right now. There's a woman at the back. You see shadows in your eye. The shadows are clear right now. You can notice your freedom. Run to the altar right now. Mateleka Barakata. Everywhere I lift your hand and shout power. Upon Mount Zion there shall be deliverance. Upon Mount Zion there shall be holiness. And the sons of Jacob shall possess their possession. Lift your hand and say whatever is holding me. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Now shake it out of your body anywhere. While you are doing that move to the altar. Everywhere you are move to the altar. Check yourself move to the altar. If the knee is bent, move to the altar. If the back is here, move to the altar. If you can speak where you go to move to the altar. Let the sound of the back up be lower than my sound. Let the sound of this room be lower. If you can, if you anywhere, if you notice that, come to the altar now. Mateke Peretoha, Jakaka Paratoe, Eketene Managa, Ibakaro Koto. 
Ejekeke Ejekeke here. Lift your hand and shout power. Lift your two hands high. He told me 48. It can't be less than 48. Something left your stomach. The breast growth disappeared. The high knee left you. The breathing has changed. The knee has been healed. You came here with cold sensations over your body. The cold sensations have disappeared. Moving object on your head and your back has just disappeared. Check yourself. Confirm what Jesus has done. And run to the altar right now. This is the altar of mercy. As you step in here, Jehovah, show you mercy. Lift your hand and say, Father, show me mercy. Lift your hand again, Father, show me mercy. Lift your hand again, Father, show me mercy. A woman with seven years arthritis, you can hardly move. You use your stick to move. Can you get up, lift up your stick and start coming to the altar? Seven years arthritis, you move in pain and you hold the stick. The power of arthritis is broken right now. The power of arthritis is broken right now. The power of arthritis is broken right now. Just move everywhere. The hand of God is touching you. Somebody lift your hand and say, Jesus, Jesus. I am not hearing you shouting, Jesus, Jesus. I came tonight to encounter mercy. Oh God, show me mercy. A small child that cannot hear, the two ears are blocked. Check the child, the child is hearing right now. Check the child, the child is hearing right now. Whether it is here or in any of the very centers, check the child, the child is hearing right now. Move quickly to the altar. Everywhere you are, lift your hand again and shout, Father, I came for mercy. Show me mercy. You have been licking your ring for more than two years. The yoke is broken right now. The power of the evil is cut off. Jesus give you immediate healing. This is mercy. People don't get it because they deserve it. They get it because Jesus gave it. Yes, sir. I don't know what you are waiting for. But I think you are wise enough to collect your own. Lift up your two hands. I say there are 48 of you that are having instant testimony to give. I'm waiting for that woman with arthritis I used to use, that was using something to hold herself. Check your leg. Your leg is walking. Check your leg. Help her to get here. Whoever the woman is, check her. The leg is walking. Check the, the small child that can't hear. The ear, the ear is very bad. Check the child and bring the child here. This is the altar of mercy. Everywhere I lift up your two hands. I speak on the authority of Jesus. Anything holding you captive, turn you loose. Now in the name of Jesus. Hey. The Lord is telling me there are things, there are, there are personalities that have been inside people for a long time. Personalities have been hanging around people for a long time. Demonic powers have been following follow demons, following you up and down, harassing your destiny, monitoring your destiny. Let me hear shout fire. fire! Shout again, fire! fire. Shout again, fire. fire! Shout again, fire! fire. Shout again, fire! fire. Shout again, fire. 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 Turn them loose now. I see things running away. 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 Somebody shout While I was talking, some of you saw demonic personality walking out of your body. If you are one of them, run to the altar right now. That yoke will never return again. The hand of God is divorcing you from whatever was holding you captive. Ancestral spirits are leaving you. Familiar spirits are leaving you. Altars of hell are breaking. When I hear your amen, you take your push. Everyone with a testimony, run to the altar now. Everyone want a testimony. God did something in your life while we are talking. Something ran out of your body. Something changed in your life. You noticed it. Come to the altar. This is the moment. What are those people standing there doing? If the person got a miracle, move to the altar. If not, go back. Glory to God. 
Hallelujah. Amen. We're going to get into another. You want to take some testimonies? Huh? Okay. Sit down briefly. We are not started service. We're just doing rehearsal. Are you here? This is just rehearsal. Let's take the rehearsal, then we get to the main service. Give the Lord a mighty clap in the house. If God did a miracle for you, sir, move now. Help them, help them, help them. The person God touched the eye. Can you start coming? When we see you now, help them. Move quickly. Yes. Pastor, this is Miss Sister Mesoma. She came here with a swelling, a visible swelling on the neck. She has had a swelling on the neck. Yes. For how long? For almost a year. For almost a year. And as she is ministering now, she's looking for the swelling. It's completely disappeared. Are you just sitting there? Give the Lord a shout. It's not meant to be there. This is the altar of mercy. Check them. My name is Rosemary Ovo. I've had a severe spinal pain for six months. You have I've had severe spinal pain, pain for, six, for months. six months. And I've done everything humanly possible, both medically and otherwise, to ensure that this pain leaves me. But the Lord told me to come here today. The Lord told you to come. Come and give the Lord a beautiful clap of. And what has happened now? What has I happened? I received my healing. You can't find the pain. Uh, yes. Can you bend? Let us see. I cannot stand for five minutes. You couldn't stand for five minutes before now. But the pain is gone. Yes. What can you do now to show the people that you mean business? Are you just sitting down, jump on your feet and scream? Upon Mount Zion, there shall be deliverance. Go. Your case is permanent. Check them up. Check them up. Let's take a few. Check yourself. Confirm and run to the altar. Thank yes, what Jesus. happened? Yes. And for three years, I've been having astigmatism. You have been having? Astigmatism. I astigmatism. Yes. But on I your go eye. To the hospital, yes. What does, I go it, to the, what does astigmatism mean? I feel look? eye pain. If I read, my eye will be paining me. You feel eye pain? Phone, yes. Uh-huh. So I've gone to the hospital for glasses, but still the glasses, I'm still feeling pains. Yeah. So I dropped them. So I came here believing God for mercy, and he showed me mercy tonight. So now I could read on my phone without pain. And I read... You can look at your phone without pain? Yes, yes, yes. Are you just keeping quiet? Keep the Lord a better clap of it. Let the yoke never be turned. Yes, what happened? Papa, Mama said for three years. For three had, years? Three years. She had having very, very blood vision. She, she can't, can't see well. She can't see well. She can't see faces. Who came clearly. with her? You didn't come with anybody. Anybody know Mama? Mama, what could you not see before now? She couldn't see your face. You couldn't see my face from yes, there? Yes, sir. Ha. But now, what has happened, Mama? But now she can see everybody's face clearly. If you are just sitting down, you are doing the wrong thing. Give the Lord a shout. Mama, go. It is permanent. But yes. So, Mama also has a difficulty in hearing on the right ear. She couldn't hear with the right yes, ear. Yes, She was screaming when she was coming at that. A sound like an opening into the right ear. No, a sound. Can. Yes. Okay. And, and the love, thing opened the open right up. ear. Yes. Are you keeping with? Give the Lord a better clap of it. Check yourself. This is rehearsal. We are going to have more to work. Yes, quickly, what happened? Pastor, this, this thing actually, they work. <laughs> For one week now, I had, like, it was like an itching on my throat. An itching on the throat? Yes, then it turned to a growth in my throat. So I then my, it turned to a growth? Yes, I told my friend that I'm having itching on my throat. So I had to talk, I had to, talk to one of my doctor friends. Then he asked me to show him a sample, which I did. He said it was throat infection. But I told my friend one thing. I said I will not spend my money on sickness anymore. And I said that if I come here, my case will be the first case pastor will mention. And as pastor mentioned the case, I told my friend to confirm it. And she confirmed it. Are you just keeping quiet? Give him a shout. Lift up your hand. You will not spend again on infirmity. You will not spend again on crisis. You will not spend again on the virus. You will not spend again in hospital. Jehovah give you your answer in the name of Jesus. Turn to your neighbor and say, this is the headquarter of mercy. 
God is showing you mercy tonight. Ask him or her, do you believe? Yes, what happened? Papa, yes. my name is Comfort Umba. And uh, indeed, God has shown me mercy on this mercy ground. I've had a swollen neck for the past one year, four months. And it has been a concern. But during the prayers, during the worship, and the word of prophecy came, I checked myself. It's no longer there. It has disappeared. Can you it give the Lord a clap? One word, the yoke bread. Your own is broken now in the name of Jesus. Check yourself. Somebody that growth on your breast has left. That growth on the back has left. Check it. The pain has left. Check the knee. You are free now. Move to God's altar with your story. Yes, quickly. Praise the Lord. My name is Elaine Sarah. I came here with pain in my stomach, but when you said we should touch where we're having any issue, I felt it, there's no pain anymore. It's no longer there. Gone. Never to return again. Yes, we just take about four more and I stop. Praise the Lord. While I was preparing to come for this service, I, I entered the bathroom and my legs, the thighs. So I landed with my neck and this shoulder. You, you fell? Yes, I fell in, in the With bathroom. your shoulder? Yes, with this shoulder. And the and neck, neck on the bedroom? Yes. Ah. The, the, the hands were so heavy, I couldn't carry my hands. While I was coming to church, I almost did not come for the service. I was just bending my neck. But when we are singing, hallelujah, I, I started worshiping. So I, I carried my hands like that. And when I brought it down, uh, I started shaking it my hands. If you want to shout, give the Lord a shout. The yoke is broken. Yes, what happened to him? Pastor, this is George Emmanuel. He yeah. has not been able to raise his right hand up for the past three days. It has been hurting him badly. But as we were ministering and he, he, he heard the word of knowledge, he lifted his right hand up and is healed. Give the Lord a beautiful clap. What happened to him too? Papa, my name is Freddy. For the couple of six months, I've been having this moving sensation on my head. Moving sensation on the head yeah. for six months. Yeah, but even today, I have it. I wake up. Uh, this service... It was no more. I can't Give the Lord a beautiful clap. Never again will we return. We we'll just take the last one. I have to stop because Praise of time. Praise the Lord. Since 2020, I've been having something running through my throat. I had a dream that something entered through my ears. So since then, I've been having something in my throat. It Moving object yes, in your throat. Yes, you felt it enter through the through, ear. Yes, from a dream that I dreamt. On the dream, yeah? Yes, it doesn't go out. It cannot, that, that was how it was. Since 2020? Yes, sir. As we are ministering, I just felt something leaving me. And I felt so free. And it's gone? Yes. yes. Ah, ah, ah. Give the Lord a clap and a shout. I declare over you whatever the devil gave you is leaving you now. Anything that entered you, any arrow projected into your body, any foreign object that entered into your womb, entered into your stomach, entered into your eye, entered into your kidney, entered into your body. Somebody shout, Go! Shout again, Go! Shout again, Go! Never again in the name of Jesus. Yes, what happened? Yes. Praise the Lord. I'm Sheriff Joy. For the 2029. 2029. 2009. 2009. 2009. 2009. Yeah. I was cleaning my ear with a cutting board and the thing broke inside wait, wait. my ear. 2009. Yes. You were cleaning your ear. Yes. With yes. a cotton board. Yes. That and it broke inside it your broke ear. Broke inside. Yes. Uh huh. And I went to a ch uh, teaching hospital. So when the doctor checked it, said there is nothing inside, but there is a siren singing inside my ears. Up to that time. To From now, that 2009, it yes, was like if there's a siren there in was your a ear. Siren to my ear. So when I came in here and you said someone in the ear, the right ear, the noise has ended. And that was how it ended in my life. If you want to jump up, jump up and shout. I declare over you the yoke is broken. The cause is ended. You won't carry it again. Just doing rehearsal. 
<laughs> the service never start now. Are you ready for service to start? Uh, don't worry. Thunder will fire Quinsu here tonight. The thunder he sighs will fire him. And fire that man in your video doing you. I didn't hear you. Amen. Amen. You know, there's somebody in your family that says he's a strong man. Thunder strong like him. We'll be looking for him from this altar today. Amen. Lift your hand, above your Father, we declare every testimony permanent in the name of Jesus. Amen. And out of this altar, let the hand of God go against every enemy. Amen. Shout power. Be oh. seated briefly. Ladies and gentlemen, give the Lord your best clap and your best shout tonight. All right. Give your neighbor a high five. Tell your neighbor you're welcome to church. Welcome to the altar of mercy ground. All right. Taking us to another level of worship tonight. We have one of Podacot's finest music ministers in the building. Without any further ado, I'd like us to give an altar of mercy shout as we make welcome, Minister K.D. Numberry. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you. Thank you, Papa, for having me tonight. Um, he said something when he was ministering. He said, if you can only see Jesus, if you can only see Jesus, just lift your hands all over this building. Lift your eyes to heaven and see Jesus, the one who has done the miracles we have just heard. Just lift your hands and just thank him. Thank him for his angels that are here ministering to people already. Thank him for the great things that are already happening. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thou art worthy, O oh Lord, to receive glory, honor, and power. For thou hast created all things, and for thy plan they are and Can you sing it like 
before I came this night, I couldn't even open my voice to sing. My, my people can, 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 can bear me witness. I, I, I had to put myself over hot water and steam. But I came and I took this microphone and you can hear my voice clear. It means there's an anointing in this place. Lift your hands, someone. I, 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 I. Just, just, just love of God tonight. I don't need to cajole you to worship your God. There's just something strong in the atmosphere. There's an anointing in the atmosphere. Just lift your hands. Just exalt him. Just worship him. You don't need a song to worship him. You don't need me to cajole you to worship him. Just worship him. Oh my God. Oh Shatamaha. I am a Kobotole. Worthy, you are worthy, King of Kings, Lord. Holy, holy God. 
hey. But when we look around, we say, hey. You're always there, I'll pain you share. Oh, my, 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 so oh, yeah, yeah. I bless God for all things. Where the in the sunshine, my life is seen in him. His troubles, I'm an overcome. Yeah, we saw it. Everybody. together for Jesus. Tell your neighbor it's the night of mercy. Tell someone else the night of mercy. That means tonight. Say that means tonight. You must receive your portion. Hallelujah. My name is Franklin Wilson and I'm the online pastor Gate to International Church. And I want us to celebrate Jesus as I welcome Mr. Robert Ebion for the story of a changed life tonight. Can we celebrate him as he comes forward? Is this how you want us to clap for you on your own day? Can you keep clapping? Hallelujah. You're welcome, sir. Thank you. Tonight, I wanted to um, listen carefully because this story is a very unique one. So, sir, I would like to know who was Mr. Robert before God showed you mercy? Okay. Um, good evening, Gateway family. My name is Robert Ebinu. Okay. Um, I live in Port Harcourt. I, as a young person, I do business at a very early age with SBDC. So, you know, as young as I am, getting involved with that kind of wealth got me, it got over my head. And I went into adventure. It was actually an adventurous life. <laughs> Not too good to say. Okay. But thank God, and thank God for my wife who endured all those rough days. Okay. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Let's celebrate his wife. 
Okay. Now, you said something happened after, you know, you lived that kind of life, clubbing and all that. Something happened that made you go back to village. Okay, yeah. You know, after living my life like that, sometime, I, I think in 2016, um, the contract was revoked. So my eyes cleared. <laughs> so at that point, at that point, you know, every other person that was doing business with me was actually rising. If we are in step two, they were moving to step four, step five. And me, I was sliced down to zero. So out of shame, I couldn't withstand for Takot again, so I had to pack my family and run back to my state, Bayelsa, Yenagua. Okay. So it's like when I went to oh. Bayelsa, you know, it's like the devil now said, welcome back home. I think now we can deal with you. So it was when I, you know, family members, old friends, everybody I had grown up with met me there and I met the other side of life. It was very terrible. No, my economy has dropped. But that wasn't even the main issue. The main issue was I started seeing images in my house. The devil came in his own way to welcome me to. I saw him physically. You know, nightmares, terrible nightmares that translated to, I was losing it gradually. One of the nights, how I encountered Papa was, before that, my car keys, I drove out, came back in the evening, left them, one gone missing. Wow. We brought out the spare. Mm. The other night again, the other khaki gone missing. Hot. The other week, the engine got knocked. Hot. The other different kind of things that I cannot even explain. And when I dream, I always see myself dead. So I know that actually the devil has come to welcome me back. It was like that terrible night, one of those nights when I dreamt. Snakes pursue me, from snake to crocodile, from one thing to the other. I was... Let's welcome Pastor Jerry. You're welcome, sir. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thunder must fire Equensu tonight. And his mother-in-laws. All right, sir. You can continue. Amen. Amen. Okay. So it was while I was in that route of dream. In a while in the dream, somebody was telling me, run, oh, run, oh. So when I wake up to I started running. I ran from the room to the parlor, and I didn't see anything. I was, the whole house looked very calm, but me, I know life is just gradually slipping out of my hand. So it was then, when I entered the sitting room, I saw 14 days in the oil, in the magazine, on my center table. As in, as you ran out from that dream, entered yeah. your sitting room, you yeah. saw the booklet. For the, 14 days in the oil. In the oil, on the center table. On the center table. And you don't know who kept it? I have you not, I don't even it. know. I don't actually know who brought it. Okay. I didn't know how it find its way to my house. Okay. And I actually didn't even know that it was even a, a prayer booklet. I, I see it as a magazine. But I was looking at the person at the cover page. And you know, that time, you know, Papa looked very fresh, you know. And, <laughs> All right. <laughs> Praise God. You know, that was Papa's 40th birthday picture. <laughs> Praise God. All right. Hallelujah. All right. Amen. So I, you know, in, in that dreaded situation, reading a magazine was not an option at all. Yeah. But somehow the magazine was like, 
It was an, it was inviting me, so I had to go you to open it. pick it. When I pick it, I find solace, like as if I was running, and I run, I ran into something that is bigger than what is pursuing me. Wow! So I held a magazine in my hands. I was looking at it for over twenty minutes. I was looking. He was looking at me. me. I was looking at him too. We looked at each other for some time, and then it's like he commanded me now open now. So I opened. When I opened, that was when I find out it was even a prayer booklet. Wow! I started. Every prayer page I opened was addressing my situation. Ah. Every prayer page I opened was addressing my situation. Ah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. That is how I started 14 days in the oil on my own. Now, now, what I want to observe, nobody gave him the book. He ran out from that nightmare, entering his parlor, he saw the booklet, just like you have the Midnight Cry booklet right now. And then something moved him, and he started praying with the booklet without any human being explaining anything to him. That was God showing him mercy. Continue. So I, I started doing, I actually don't have understanding of oil and all the rest, but all I know is there are prayer points to pray, so I have to pray. <laughs> okay. So I started praying. I prayed, I, when I do 14 days that month, I will rest for two weeks. The other month I continue. I continued until my brother called from US. He said, what are you doing here in Agua? Come Help back. came. Calm down. For how long did you continue doing that? I did that for like four months. Now, four months on his own with the book dealing with him for four months. Let's continue. So that is how he called me. What actually are you doing in Bayasa? I said, life, tire me. He said, can you come to Port Harcourt? I said, yes. Okay, so he sent me money to pack and come back to Port Harcourt. Wow. So when he gave me the money, he actually was... I was living in uh, Audley Road. So my mind was going back to Audley Road. We went all through Audley Road. The agents we engaged, GRA, Ada George, um, Ajib, we couldn't find house. House that suit you. I was like, ah, Kalabapo, don't come back again. Why can't I find house all, <laughs> all over this place again? Okay. I tried all, no way. And the best of place they could give me is back of Gateway Church. She bike. <laughs> now, now, after the long time of prayer, now money came, help came from his brother abroad. He looked for a house. He couldn't find anywhere except behind Gateway. Now, I wanted to also understand that all this while he didn't know it, he was praying with Gateway International Church booklet. He didn't know. Continue. So when they brought me to Shibaik, my wife one day said, over four times, the, the agent will bring us to that same house. So it's okay, let's settle there. That is how we came and settled there. When we have settled there, me, Gateway was for me a bus stop. So I will go out through Gateway, come through that route. You know, Gateway, you just walk through Gateway to Shibaik. Car, keke, any means I take is just Gateway is just a normal route. But for me, Gateway is a bus stop. I had, it never occurred to me, it didn't register that. Gateway is a church. The, the booklet with which I was praying till the help came. I, till one day, I have to, my wife said, let's pray. That man, we need to find him. That man on that booklet, we need to find him. Where is church? He's in Portaco. We'll go garrison. We'll be strolling just to look if we can see his sandboard. And, and they were passing. <laughs> okay. Continue. We even went to Garrison, went to Mile 3, huh. looking for this picture of that fresh, you no, know, that papa. So we couldn't find it. So that day we prayed. Two days after, my wife came back and said, I have seen the man. I said, Where? She said, That bus stop, gateway bus stop. I saw his picture. I said, Really? Yes. He said, That gateway is not even a bus stop, it's actually a church. That is a church. I said, ah, right here, and we've been passing here every day. So I said, okay, you go and see the church. When you see the church, come and tell me. If it is okay, I will come. So she came. That was January. We've been in Port Harcourt, October, November, December. We came September, October, November, December. We've been passing there. It didn't register to us until January to please God. January to please God, we see crowd gathered there. To us, it wasn't even anything. Until me, I entered Gateway Church, the Thanksgiving of January to please God. 
For those of us that know me in Gateway, that place I used to see behind choir, that is where they sat me. When I sat there, children of God, I didn't hear anything Papa was preaching. All I was seeing is another Papa with me discussing. And I knelt down on the ground. I said, this church is very big. I've never attended a big church. Me, I like, I'm not a, that kind of person. So this church is big. Can you just, if you hear prayer ever, can you just put me in the hand of one pastor that can just take care of me because my problem plenty. <laughs> okay, that was your prayer. You asked God to give you. I knelt down and prayed that prayer. Okay. And that same evening, that is when Pastor Favor called me. Wow. Okay. Then after that. So when me and Pastor Favor met, it was very welcoming. And that is how the journey started. of Gateway started. started. So when I came, when I started, when I started that year, Papa was always saying, serve, serve God, serve God. If you remember that 2019, 2020, yeah. serve God, that is what is oh, is sermon. So I started thinking of where to serve. Then one day, I was in a dream when Papa, I met him. I said, I want to serve. He said, go to a faith clinic. I said, faith clinic of all places. Me, I never serve anything for church. Now, faith clinic. Ah. You know, we were like, and he removed his sleep. I said, come on, go to faith clinic. That is how I get myself fixed up in faith clinic. Hallelujah. Amen. Okay, let me ask you now. The, the same man that had to run back to the village because everything went down to zero. What has the Lord done now? Wow. <laughs> it oosh. It's very oosh. But one thing, actually, it's very oosh, yeah, very oosh. It's very oosh. But, you know, when I finish... One the very significant thing I will just mention is when I finished building my house, the house was finer and bigger than I see myself. I contemplated renting the house. I don't want to go again. It also take my wife and Pastor Favor to force us to go there. That is after you finished building your house. The house was too fine that you were scared to yeah. enter inside. Yes. Uh, ah. mm. Can we celebrate Jesus? The journey that started with just a booklet, without any human being. Today, now you're a landlord in Port Harcourt. Yes, sir. And you are doing very well. Very, very well. Wow. Very, very well. Can we celebrate Jesus? And can, I can you lift your hand where you are? Now, now, listen. It's not just doing well business, but also doing well spiritually. Right. Serving in the faith clinic, he has grown. Now he speaks with authority, conducts deliverance with authority because he chose to serve. So it's not just being a businessman, but he doesn't talk now like a businessman. He talks like a prophetic businessman. And that's what he's supposed to be. Can you lift your hand? In the name that's above every name, you are being here today open you to a higher dimension of grace. Let the shift you are believing for happen here. When you are amen, Lance, take your portion. If you want to shout for Jesus, you can shout better than that. You know, sometimes when Papa raises some prayer points, you think that he doesn't know what he's talking about, what he's praying. When he says anything covering you so that people who should locate you cannot see you, let that thing die. Now you're going to lift up your hand and say, anything covering me. Anything covering so that people who cannot see me. So that people who are supposed to see me. To help me. Cannot see me. Let it die by fire. Let it die by fire. Let it die by fire. Three months he was supposed to be in Gateway. 
in the waka pass, waka pass, waka pass. You know nothing I get to be that. Any person that's supposed to bless your business with a waka pass, waka pass, waka pass, waka pass. Let that demon die in the name of Jesus. Amen. Let me come back to what I'm supposed to do. <laughs> Good evening, brothers and sisters, guests and friends. My name is Emeka Ojoko. I'm a lawyer and a businessman, and I serve in Gateway as a resident pastor. I stand here tonight on behalf of my mother, Manuela George Zunwa, to welcome each and every one of you to Vigil of Destiny number four. This is the covenant night of mercy. This is the night to recover destinies. This is the night to resurrect delayed projects. Whatever the enemy has said will not move forward in your life. This night, that thing will enter forward march. I say this night, that thing will enter forward march. In Ezra, verses, verse, chapter 5, verses 1 to 2, Holman Christian Standard Bible, it says, But when the prophets Haggai and Zechariah, son of Edo, prophesied to the Jews who were in Judah and Jerusalem in the name of the God of Israel who was over them. Zerubbabel, son of Shealtiel, and Jeshua, son of Josadak, began to rebuild God's house in Jerusalem. The prophets of God were with them, helping them. Let's read it again in the Gateway Revised Translation. But when the prophets, Jerry and George, Prophesy to the people who we are the author of mercy. In the name of the God of Gateway, who was over them. Then you and I began to rebuild our house in Nigeria. The prophets of God, we are with them, helping them. Tonight, at the word of the prophets of God in this house tonight, your destiny will enter forward march. I said your destiny will enter forward march. In Isaiah 32 verses 14 to 15, it says, because the palaces will be forsaken, the bustling city will be deserted, the forts and towers will become liars forever, a joy of wild donkeys, a pasture of flocks, until the spirit is poured upon us from on high, and the wilderness becomes a fruitful field. And the fruitful field is counted as a forest. Whoever discounted you, whoever counted you out, this night, as the Spirit comes upon you, you shall be counted in. I said you shall be counted in. Without further ado, those of you who are watching us online, via the Life Center Network, or via social media, I bid you welcome to Vigil of Destiny number four. Believe me, there is no distance in the, time, in the realm of the spirit. Wherever you are watching us, the power of God will touch you where you are and your destiny will move forward in the name of Jesus Christ. In our presence here, with us here tonight, we have several men of God. But before I, before I acknowledge them, I also want to acknowledge those of us who are watching at the satellite churches, wherever you are, Obogoro, Dubai, uh, Doha, London, Canada, wherever you are. You are welcome to this service, to this meeting. The glory of God right now is overshadowing you wherever you are and signs and wonders will manifest right there in your location in the name of Jesus Christ. Now, let me just recognize the following men of God who have honored us with their presence here tonight. Because of time constraints, I will not be able to mention your ministries but I will just mention your names as I mentioned. Men of God, please just give God's people a wiper and then resume your seat. Now, with us, we have Pastor C.O.C. Elkana. Man of God, you are welcome. Thank you, sir. We have Pastor Apata Adeshino. You are welcome, sir. We have Pastor Lev Love Emuze. You are welcome, ma'am. 
We have Reverend Devi Ene. You are welcome, ma'am. We have Pastor Emmanuel Awa Igwe. Welcome, sir. We have Reverend Mike Winning. You are welcome, sir. We have Pastor and Pastor Mrs. Tony Soji. You are welcome, sir and ma'am. Evangelist Chidima Eharika. You are welcome, ma'am. Reverend Regis Iheduru. You are welcome, sir. Pastor Debbie Jones. You are welcome, ma'am. Pastor and Pastor Mrs. Joseph Joshua, you are very welcome. Pastor Bayo Olari Waju Ajala, you are welcome, sir. Pastor Adeboye Abidoye, welcome, sir. Pastor Fabian Innocent, welcome, sir. Pastor Becky Anthony, you are welcome, ma'am. Pastor Ukeme Etukudo from Uyo, you are welcome. Pastor Onayere Efe from Igrita RCCG, you are welcome, sir. Evangelist Celine Bennett, welcome. Pastor Innocent Ginika, you are welcome, sir. Pastor His Grace Obasi Faraday, welcome, sir. Pastor Emmanuel Kio, you are welcome. Pastor Mrs. Ruth Kio, welcome. Pastor and Mrs. Ifanye Daniels, all the way from Oweri, welcome, sir and ma'am. Evangelist Grace Emmanuel, you are welcome. Pastor Jewel Isaiah, welcome. Reverend Terry Abiemowe, welcome, sir. Pastor and Mrs. Prince Clifford, you are welcome. Prophetess Mrs. Inkechi Darlington, welcome. Evangelist Gloria M.A., you are welcome. Reverend Chamberlain Inna, welcome, sir. Pastor Goodness, welcome. Pastor Neolin, welcome. All the way from Oweri, put your hands together for them. Pastor, Pastor Edna Jumbo, welcome. Pastor Dennis Nkerege from Uyo, welcome, sir. Pastor Susan Sunday, welcome. Apostle Richman Epele, you are welcome. Pastor Mrs. Solomon Idudu, welcome, sir and ma'am. Pastor and Pastor Mrs. John Peter, all the way from Okrika over the seas, you are welcome. Apostle O.K. Great, you are welcome. Pastor Kenneth Efejuku, you are welcome. Pastor and, pa and Pastor Mrs. Andy Indika, welcome. Pastor Marsha Williams, welcome. Pastor and Pastor Mrs. Nemeka CJ from Oyibo, welcome. Pastor Emmanuel Sonny, you are welcome. Pastor Helen C. Asso, you are welcome. Reverend Success Ivan Bay, you are welcome. Reverend Godswill Ezebuiro, you are welcome. Apostle David Ibekwe, welcome. Pastor Samuel Okoye, Reverend Henry Felix, Pastor Sam Itope, you are welcome. Pastor and Deaconess Herring Elu, you are welcome. Pastor Kenneth M. Kyle, you are welcome. Pastor Frank Botu, Pastor Aniete Nse, Pastor Undukenobon God knows, you are welcome. Pastor Favor Enebeli, Pastor George in Sikan, Pastor Stephen Emeka Wo Korye, Pastor and Pastor and Mrs. Ezekiel, you are welcome. Pastor Victor, welcome. All the way from Oweri, please put your hands together from him. Reverend Ogechu Duruji, all the way from Abuja, you are welcome, sir. Apostle Sheriff Ugochuku Woke, also from Abuja, welcome. Pastor Success Eneruvie Agana, you are welcome. Pastor Mrs. Anga John, you are welcome. Pastor Hakot David, Pastor Ogedembe Samuel Johnson, welcome. Pastor Praise Charles Udofia, welcome. Apostle James Brown, Apostle Dr. Vicky Isaac, you are welcome. Pastor Mrs. Helen Chimezie, Pastor Regina Poto, Pastor, Pastor Mrs. Nena NC, NC, Pastor Charles Kaduru, Pastor Ibo Sylvester, Pastor Daboju Dokubo, Pastor and Mrs. Uchechuku Oji, Pastor Paul Obu, Pastor Eleye West, Pastor Kasmia Ihedike, Pastor Wisdom Ekiko, Pastor Mmecha Mmecha from Umahia, you are welcome. Pastor Alexander Akaniene, you are welcome. Pastor Christine Dokubo from Abajo, welcome. Pastor Esther Beke, welcome, ma'am. Pastor Chris Otokpa, Pastor Chukuka Nzekwe, Pastor Onyedikachi John. Men of God, women of God, you are highly welcome to Vigil of Destiny number four. Church, put your hands together for them. Now, for everyone who came out here tonight, we have well over 15,000 people seated in this arena tonight. Over 15,000. There are no seats anywhere in the house. Everywhere is jam-packed. Please stretch out your hand to your neighbor on your left and right and welcome them on my behalf. I would have loved to come down and welcome you, but please welcome your neighbor. Tell your neighbor you are welcome. Tell another neighbor that tonight is your night. 
Tell a net neighbor that God will meet you at your point of need tonight. Tell a fourth neighbor your destiny enters forward march tonight. Prophesy to your neighbor. And finally, finally, our VIPs, those who are worshipping with us for the very, very first time. If this is your first time of entering Gateway International Church, the author of Mercy Grounds, please pick up your bag, pick up your Bible, whatever you came here with, and just walk down to the front so that you can be the first person to testify by the shaking of your hands by one of our pastors here tonight. Please walk down to the front. Church, put your hands together as they walk down. Wherever you are in the building, walk down to the front, please. Walk down, walk down, walk down. You are welcome. Pick your bag and Bible where you are moving. You go back to your chair, but don't leave anything on the chair where you are coming. You're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> You're welcome. Please go this way. Please go this way. You're welcome. You're welcome. Please go this way. You're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. Welcome, man. You're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. Please go this way. You're welcome. You are welcome. You are welcome. You are welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. Please go this way. You're welcome. Please go that way. You're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome, man. Welcome home. Welcome home. Welcome home. Welcome home. Welcome home. You are welcome. Welcome home. Welcome home. You are welcome. You are welcome. Welcome, sir. Welcome, 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 welcome. You are welcome. Welcome. Please go this way. Go this way. Go this way. Go this way. You are welcome, ma'am. You are welcome. You are welcome. You are welcome. Please go this way. You are welcome. You are welcome. You are welcome. 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 Please go this way. You are welcome. You are welcome. You are welcome. Please go this way. Go this way. Go this way. Go this way. You are welcome. You are welcome. Welcome. Please go this way. Go this way. You are welcome. Shout put your hands together for them. Put your hands together for them. We are welcoming our the newest members of Gateway International Church. Shout put your hands together for them. They have been here as an answer to prayer. It's a miracle. Welcome home. Welcome home. Welcome home. Welcome home. for these wonderful people. Can we celebrate God? Can we celebrate God? This is the finger of God. Don't put your hands together for them.
Somebody give the Lord a shout. Stand on your feet and give the Lord a shout. Move your leg and give the Lord a shout. Jump up and give the Lord a shout. Amen. Hear this. Please, those in charge of the screams, make sure things are working. Hear this. You see, your answer is here tonight. Are you ready to take it? Huh? Don't get distracted in any way. What you have been looking for has been found. Well, since you didn't say amen, your neighbor collect your own. Lift your hand and say, Father. Father. Louder voice, Father. Father. I, am I am set tonight. I will have my encounter. Have my encounter. Can I hear your amen? amen? Let me start. People of God, it's time for us to give God his food. And what does the Lord want from us? He doesn't want cattle. He doesn't want money. What God feeds on is praise. What he feeds on is testimony. So the Lord has been moving in diverse ways. You have seen his hand here. But now I want to share stories of what God has been doing over the air. What he has been doing in our satellite churches. What he has been doing in our altar of mercy uh, podcast each night. So just listen and be blessed. And know that by this testimony that you are about to hear, your answer will come out tonight. In the name of Jesus Christ. So the first testimony we have today, just to make God very happy, when we read that testimony, you give a clap. Do you understand me? My name is Johnny Shedera, I'm a doctor by training, but in this house I serve as a community impact pastor. So when I say God has done something, I know God does something. Be willing and ready to receive your healing tonight and other testimonies in the name of Jesus. Amen. We have location churches more than 50 spread around Port Harcourt and, and centers around Nigeria and outside Nigeria. So we'll call out the locations briefly. These are not the testimonies we have. Because of time, we picked out a few just to share with you. So be ready to clap when we read. Number one, GIC Mamasi Church. Sister Nkechi Love Day is a nurse by training and attended VG of Destiny for the first time. She has had chronic arthritis that have not allowed her to walk or move. But during the ministration, Papa gave a word of knowledge, and over the air, she received her healing. Give the Lord a clap. <laughs> Sister Happiness from Rumo Cruz Church, on the second day of Vigil of Destiny, her case was called. She had three years on Beleka Hainia that was supposed to have a, have a surgery. But her administration was going on too. She's looking for the high net. It is nowhere to be found. Give the Lord a clap. This testimony is from Bro Michael from Ignatius Ajuri University of Education, Iwofe. Our neighbors here. He said he got healed. He had a growth in his ear for over four months. But at the speaking of the word, the growth melted. He cannot find it again. Then from the Abloma Satellite Church, Wachuku Chibuzo, governor, said he had an accident when he was in primary three. He was six years old around Rainbow area in Port Harcourt. And since then, he has been having excruciating pain in his spinal region. He can't even breathe well without experiencing pain in the left side of his chest and at his back. Then, on the second night of VOD, while he was dancing and celebrating, he had crap at his back and at his neck and since then he can breathe deeply he can breathe well for over 40 years the pain has gone and he's okay then from GIC Choba Satellite Church Spencer Innocent Fortune says he had an eye defect that has been there for four years now he cannot look directly at any bright light and he cannot read well but now he can see perfectly well and then God also hit him of a very severe headache he has had for over one year. Give the Lord a clap. 
Mr. Gideon Celestine from LL and One Church have a physical testimony, something God did. For over seven years, he had a fractured finger, and the finger was bent. Because of time, we cannot show you pictures. But along the meeting, on the second day of Vigil of Destiny, he said as Papa was praying, she, he noticed that the pain was gone. As he woke up, the bent finger straightened out. Give the Lord a big hand. <laughs> Mrs. Bamidele from, from Eneka Church is also testifying of healing on her two-year-old daughter who was booked for surgery for inguinal hernia and was waiting for the appropriate age for the surgery to happen. But on the same second day of Vigil of Destiny, as Papa was ministering, he said there's a child here that God is healing of a swelling. The swelling is gone. God has taken it away. Surgery is canceled. Give the Lord a give her. And Sister Sophia has been jobless for four years. It's not only healing that God gives. God also gives jobs. Say she has been jobless for four years, and someone invited her. She was listening to the altar of mercy. And Papa said, there's somebody here who has been jobless. God is giving you a job. He said, if you want to travel, bring your visa, raise it up. He didn't have his visa. He, she brought her CV in her phone and raised it up. After that prayer, someone she didn't tell she was looking for a job, called her and said, do you want to work? When she got there, not only was it a job, it was a white man that interviewed her. Of everybody that came, Sophia was favored. Today she has a beautiful job. Give the Lord a big hand. Now, these testimonies that we are sharing with you are coming out from the altar of mercy. Sister Saint Queen said that she joined the altar of mercy and that that same, that she joined the last month, not this month, and that same last month, God showed her mercy. For some months, she has been having difficulty going to the toilet. If you have not been there, you wouldn't know what she's talking about. <laughs> I know what she's talking about because I've been there. She will sit down for minutes and minutes, doing, mm, mm, and nothing will come out. But on one of the nights of the altar of mercy, Papa said, bring water, add anointing oil to it. And as she drank the water with the anointing oil, that same night, as she went to sit down, prrr, give the Lord a big hand. Give the Lord a big hand. Sister Isidore is also healed of a strange attack. She has something we call a medicine picker. She has abnormal taste to eat nonsense. She actually eats sand and chalk. She said every time it's 12 midnight, she will wake up with a strong desire to eat chalk. She buys the chalk, keep it aside, and chew it. That's the only way she can sleep. Satan is wicked. But in one of the days of the Jesus of Destiny, you know the Jesus of Destiny comes by 11 and elapsed at the time that devil torments her. She said as Papa was praying, and she realized by that 12 midnight, the desire to eat chalk was no longer there. After Papa prayed for healing till today, she's no longer eating chalk. That abnormal addiction is gone. Give the Lord a big hand. Mr. Mrs. Margaret was also diagnosed of fibroid five years ago. Because of financial constraints, she hasn't had a surgery. She said, but there was something bulky in her stomach. Last week, Wednesday, Papa gave a word of knowledge about somebody with a fibroid. And the person should lie down on the ground where she was. It was in this meeting. Who remembered? Pastor put an oil and poured on this altar and said, as he's pouring this oil, whatever is in your body that God did not put there, he's taking it away. Church, five years fibroid, gone. In the name of Jesus, give the Lord a big hand. Now, Brother Agbai Mba is testifying from the U.S. He said that on the 16th day of the Vigils of Destiny, on the midnight cry, Papa gave a specific word. He said there is a man here who has given up on a long time staphylococcus infection. And that that man has a skin infection right now. He says for four years he has had this particular infection and a skin disease. That means he has had staphylococcus plus the skin disease. He, uh, he said, I knew that this word was specifically for me, unlike other related cases. And so he keyed into it and persisted with it until he got his healing. He said, Papa, right from the time you gave the word, 
everything on my skin started drying up. He said, for four years, I have been wearing long sleeve clothes to cover my skin so people wouldn't know what I'm going through. He said, my skin felt rough like sandpaper. And because of this, I can't do any work that makes me sweat. That if I start sweating, I will cry like a baby. But tonight, but from that day till now, the skin disease is gone. Staphylococcus is gone. He is healed by the prophetic word. Give the Lord a big hand of praise. Sister Delight is also healed of multiple illnesses. So I will list out what the devil afflicted her with. For three years, she has had swollen feet that comes with itching. He said once she touches her leg on the ground, it will start swelling and it will start having itching. That's how she will itch throughout the night. And she joined the altar of mercy. But before then, she also had extreme tiredness. That as she stands, she feels like she's fainting and falling. She has taken all forms of multivitamin, all forms of treatment, but she wasn't getting her healing. And then she went to the hospital to cap it all. They made a diagnosis of multiple brain slums and axillary lymph nodes. You know what it means. She joined the altar of mercy. God healed number one, healed number two, took away all the lump. The light is completely healed. Give the Lord a big hand. Sister Gladys also had a strange affliction. She went home for her traditional marriage. After she traveled and came back, she said that same night, on the 8th of June, this 8th of June that just passed, she came back and started having excruciating pain in her abdomen. She thought it was something normal. But throughout the night, she cried until morning, and they rushed her to the hospital. When the doctor started treatment, she started having offensive discharge. You know what it means for a girl who is about to get married? who just had an introduction. She has treated that discharge. It became so bad, she wears pad to move around. The devil wanted to destroy her marriage. When she went to the hospital, they gave different diagnoses, but she joined the altar of mercy. Pastor says, strange affliction is gone. There's somebody here that was afflicted after you traveled home, that you are healed in the name of Jesus. As she woke up, she became dry, no itching, no pain. God took everything away. Give the Lord a big hand. Uncle Joshua, Brother Joshua joined Gateway Church in 2019 during a program like this, Vigils of Destiny. He said when he came here, he was hungry. He was poor. He was heading nowhere. He said he couldn't feed his family properly. But during the meeting, one of the days, that Pastor Emeka Ojoko, you don't know Pastor Emeka Ojoko, Pastor Emeka Ojoko gave a declaration that in 90 days, God will show up for you. He said he didn't believe it, but the first thing he did was to accept pastor in his spirit. You know, some of you are here, you have not really accepted Papa in your spirit. Accept pastor tonight in Jesus' name. Amen. He said before Papa climbed up, it was impressed upon him to sow a seed. He decided to sow a seed, double of his salary. Somebody who is poor and hungry. But church is here to testify that after, before the 90 days elapsed, he got a job. It's not just a job. The job cleared all the outstanding debts he has. From now to three months, God has restored him financially. He's now living well and in affluence. Give the Lord a big hand. Now, Sister Ijoma Alozie, she is sharing his, her brother's testimony. Her brother's name is Chinedu. He said two months ago, her brother was very sick and was coughing out blood. She took him to five different hospitals. There was no, there was no hope. The last place she took him to was FMC Owere, Federal Medical Center. That due to how bad his case was, they kept him from other patients in the emergency ward. That's the fact that his case was this one that is so infectious that he will infect other people. So they kept a special room for him away from other patients so that he wouldn't infect them. After several tests, the doctor said that he had heart failure and collapsed lungs. The doctors now told his sister, this one is only God that can do it. Brothers and sisters, when doctors tell you that it's only God, it means that they've given up hope. All hope is gone. 
So that first night, one of their sisters sent them the link to the author of mercy. As the doctors gave him that diagnosis, it got to the point where blood was coming out of his nose. He was bleeding profusely from his nose. Then somebody now invited him to the author of mercy and sent him the link. As he was praying on that first night, Papa gave a word of knowledge and said, there is a boy here under the sound of my voice. That boy has a terrible cough and the doctors have taken a sample to check if it is tuberculosis. Papa said, right now you are healed in the name of Jesus Christ. The next day, after the word was given, he said it got worse for him. But then, he took his two legs, in that his condition, and came to Gateway, prayed at the entrance of a church, and called on the Lord. He sowed, her sister sowed a seed of life for him, with the little money on him. As she did that, as she was coming back from church, she got a call from her sister, that, that her brother who had been in a coma all this while, he suddenly woke up. The sister left away, came to Port Harcourt, came to Gateway, prayed at the door, dropped a seed, and as she was leaving church, they called her and said her brother who was comatose had suddenly woke up and got up from the bed, was now moving around and trying to encourage other patients. From that day, he began to have a speedy recovery. On Monday, she went to meet Papa. And Papa said, your brother will be discharged very soon. Between that Monday and Friday, doctors told him, oh boy, you are okay. You can leave this place now. From that time till now, tuberculosis is gone. Infectious disease gone. Everything gone. He is okay. Give the Lord a big hand of praise. Now, the last one. The final testimony we are going to share before we talk to the people who are here to share the story with us physically is that of Sister Elizabeth Olua Damilo, do, Olua Damilola. This one is a bit strange and funny. She said that she had been married for eight years and she was barren. Now, last a vision of destiny, somebody invited her and she was praying along. So they gave her the prayer booklet and encouraged her to join if she could. So she joined with her whole heart, but then for the last night, she said, let her come to sight. Let her come on ground and pray. Now, what was her prayer point? She wanted God to break the barrenness and give her own child. But as at the time she was coming for the vigil, that last vigil, her husband had been separated from her for over seven months. He had left the house. So here is a woman, eight years barren. Husband has commuted. He has packed, and you are believing God for picking. Where the husband will go give you the picking. <laughs> but <laughs> Papa came outside and was ministering to people believing for the fruit of the womb. She didn't want to come out because she was saying, Lord, how will the picking come when husband is not around? But somehow she had a leading to go out, and then Papa poured water on them. Seven days later, Agaracha came back. <laughs> the runaway husband appeared of his own volition and said, my wife, please forgive me. I am sorry. She forgave him and they settled that night. You know the settlement now? They settled that night. Nine months later, Sister appeared with a bouncing baby boy. She has a child, marriage restored, husband back to the glory of the Lord. Now, the God who could do it in that seemingly impossible situation, that same God will manifest for you tonight in the name of Jesus. Now quickly, just share those testimonies so that we can move to the next item. Praise the Lord, church. My name is Valentina Williams. Church, this thing works. <laughs> I 
after our wedding, we've been believing God for the fruits of the womb. And then I took in, and after eight weeks, I had a miscarriage. And then we went on. After some months, I took in again. And then after five months, I had another miscarriage. And then, before this miscarriage, I had a dream, a terrible dream. I woke up, prayed. Then the person I saw in that dream actually called me when I woke up that morning. And then after, she called me and said, hi, is our baby. I didn't tell her I was pregnant as a day. I said, hi, is our baby. I said, ah, ma, we are still believing God. I didn't want to tell her anything. So she said, okay, and ended the call. After some days, I had a miscarriage. So after then, we went on still believing God, trusting, we were serving, I and my husband. And then the third one, I took in again. And then I had the same miscarriage again the third time. But before then, I still had that same dream. I saw that same person again. So that was when we knew that it wasn't an ordinary thing. So I and my husband began to pray and trust in God. Then, during the Vigils of Destiny last year, Papa invited us, uh, sorry, rather, um, Papa called for the women, believing for the fruits of the womb, I came out, and that was the first time I came out ever since I was married. So I came out, I came with a point of co contact, I got a baby clothes, I came out with it. He poured oil on the floor and we stepped on it. And then he said we should stand on it, he prayed. Most of us fell under anointing and then he said we should come up, that the usher should bring those people who fell under anointing out, so we came out. And then he said that the Holy Spirit ministered to him and told him that those women were to take in that month or the following month. I actually took in the following month. But before then, Pastor Favor invited us and then prayed with us. We fasted and everything went on. I, I was pregnant. And then two weeks, two months later, two months later for the pregnancy of this baby, I started having dropping again. So I was hospitalized well, at the hospital for two months. While I was at the hospital, I kept on following the altar of mercy. I was praying. And then one day, Papa mentioned my case and everything ceased. Plus the dream. I kept on having that same dream, but nothing. Mercy said no. And today we are here to testify. This is our baby. Give the Lord a shout of praise. Everyone stopping your own. Out of this altar now, let the thunder and lightning of God begin looking for them. Amen. Anyone behind the evil going on in your family, going on in your business, going on in your career, going on in your marriage, going on in your health, let me hear you shout fire. fire. Let the arrow of God's judgment move in your behalf right now. And let amen. the deliverance be perfected. Amen. When I hear your amen, your portion is delivered. Amen. Praise the Lord, church. This thing works. Mercy actually spoke for her family. Last month, the enemy came to attack, but God said, these are mine. Now, last month, the dad was hospitalized. He suddenly took ill, and when he went to the hospital, he was diagnosed with, he saw he was diagnosed with hypertension, diabetes, stroke in the brain, and then kidney, his kidney was enlarged. While they were monitoring his health, suddenly he couldn't move, he couldn't breathe, so he was kept on life support. So the hospital decided to refer him to a bigger hospital because they couldn't manage his case again. The night they moved him, the doctor, of the, the doctor that was watching intensive care told them, your dad has to undergo dialysis tonight. If he doesn't undergo dialysis, something I'm not sure about his life. And the, dial the dialysis is not an insurance of him surviving because the dialysis is on a 50-50 basis. She said, as at that moment, the only thing she could think of was Papa. So she sent Papa, she said she sent a detailed um, um, text message of what was going on with her dad to Papa. And Papa said, the Lord commands an immediate intervention. She said that same night, every, every member of the family kept praying with that word. 
suddenly, miraculously, somebody say miraculously. Miraculously, someone that was comatose on life support got up, woke up, started talking. He didn't talk that night, he ate by himself. And as the doctors kept monitoring him, as he, as he kept responding to treatment, they checked, they did another test again. No stroke, no hypertension, kidney is fine, the diabetes is gone, and daddy is at home, hale and hearty. Are you just sitting down? If you can give Jesus a clap, if you are not the one doing it, give him a better clap, give him a better shout. The Lord command your own intervention today in the name of Jesus. Your answer is commanded. If you say amen, take another portion. Amen. Sit down for one minute. Now, secondly, while the dad was still in the hospital, when, he, when the devil knew he, was, he had lost the battle with the dad, he came to attack the sister's baby. 13th of those months, the, sisters, the sister delivered her baby preterm. And because of the condition of the baby, he was kept in an incubator. So while the doctors were monitoring, they found out that he couldn't breathe on, an, on his own. So he was placed on oxygen. Now they noticed that whenever they bring the baby out of the incubator, he couldn't breathe. Even while the mother was breastfeeding him, he was on oxygen. So they just kept him on that oxygen inside the incubator and the sister called and told her what was going on. So when they checked the baby, when the doctors ran a test on the baby, they said um, the baby had an issue with the heart and meaning there could be a hole in the heart which was causing that breathing issue. So they kept praying and believing God for a healing. Now, last week Friday, she said she was here believing God to move on their behalf. And Pastor Charles was on the altar as he was about going down. He said, there's a little baby here with a hole in the heart. That hole is closing up. She said immediately she ran out. She called the sister and said, God has stepped into your case. That hole is healed. The sister said, Amen. To the glory of God. <laughs> this God is awesome. This hey! The next day. That is called mercy. Somebody shout mercy. Mercy. The next day, baby was brought out to feed. And the mother just removed, she said, let me just check. She just removed the oxygen and baby was breathing fine on his own. And that was not just that. The, the doctors were amazed and they said, let's keep watching him. They said the oxygen saturation level at that time for him was at 71. So they said, let's keep monitoring him. So they monitored him up until this week. And just yesterday, his saturation level was above what they were thinking of. His saturation level is above 91. Baby is doing fine and it's going to be discharged tomorrow. Somebody said this thing works. This thing this works. This is indeed the headquarters for mercy. Hallelujah. Amen. This my God who lives. God who lives. God who lives. This my God lay you to march. Hey! This my God lay, God lay, God lay. This my God lay you to march. Who is happy to hear these testimonies tonight? If you are happy, give a lot of shout of praise. Now it's time to give the Lord an offering for the good works that he has done and for the one that he's about to perform in your life, in your family, in your business, in your finances, in whatever concerns you. So put your hand in your pocket, bring out a worthy offering. The account numbers are on the screen so you can do a, a transfer. Gateway International Church, First Bank, 314-517-4083. You can quickly do that transfer now. Well, pick up an envelope. Put that offering inside. Raise your two hands above your head. 
Give the Lord a shout. Now as I read out Psalms 20 verses 1 to 4, if you hear a prayer for you, just shout Amen. Psalm 20 verses 1 to 4. May the Lord answer you when you are in trouble. May the God of Jacob protect you. May he send you help from his temple and give you aid from Mount Zion. May he accept all your offerings and be pleased with all your sacrifices. May the Lord give you what you desire and make all your plans to succeed. If that prayer was for you, shout a bigger amen. Our Father, we thank you. We bless your name. Lord, we celebrate your goodness in our lives. We celebrate your goodness, Lord, that we have heard tonight. Father, as we give to you now, we receive good measure, pressed down, shaking together, flowing over in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, oh God, this is a seed for our testimony tonight. What you have done for my neighbor, you will perform for me tonight in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Say amen. Now give that offering and make welcome our one and only life song mass choir. Hallelujah. Ephesians 3 verse 20 tells us that now unto him who is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we can ask or think or even imagine if you know you serve a God that is able to answer your prayers and he is here tonight give him a shout my god is able he's able i know he's able i know my god is able to come Can I see you lift up your hand, right hand up and say, Lord, I trust you. Come on, just lift up your right hand and say, Lord, my trust is in you. Thank you, Jesus. Troubles feels like they won't end I will hold on to your peace and rest in you Situation standing tall And the mountains very high I will hold on to your faith and rest in you Is up, is up, 
I have this confidence to hold you always on. When my rock is up, is up, is up. I have this confidence to hold you always on.
God is confidence. of God. Give God your praise tonight. Give God your shout and your praise tonight. Woo! Are you excited this morning? Could you please give your neighbor a high five? Tell your neighbor you're welcome. One more time. Day four. Vigils of destiny. Your portion will not pass you by tonight in the name of Jesus. Taking us to another level tonight is one of God's choice ministers filled with so much power and fire and melody. Ladies and gentlemen, can we please with an altar of mercy shout and a clap, make welcome to the Gateway Platform, Minister Priye Odede! Whenever I call you, you're always there. As my sons, O Simiria Tata. Whenever I'm in need, you will supply my every need, O Simiria Tata. Whenever I'm broken, Wave your hands, you're there to heal me as my healer. Oh, Sibiria Tata. Oh, oh, Sibiria Tata. Whatever you want, lift your voice. Simiria Tata Wherever you want to lift your voice oh, 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 Now if you know you have been saved yeah. You have been blessed You have been raised yeah. And he has shown you mercy yeah. I want you to open your mouth And give the Lord Your shout as though the Lord Is in your heart right now for he has shown us mercy tonight. Wherever you are, if you can jump. Wait. When we call him Osimiriata, we said you're the river that can never run dry. Yes, sir. You know, I've shared it before. You know, there was flood in, in, in Nigeria. 2020, 2021. People started looking for their gods. Why? Because flood carried their gods. Native doctors were asking, Did you see my God? I can imagine others telling the others, I saw your God. Flood just carried your God from Biama to Yenegua. But we serve a God that can never be moved by flood, the mountain mover. If you serve this God, I want you to. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
been healing the sick How can you stop now? You have been shielding your own From the hands of our enemies You have been healing the sea
can you sing it? Sing it, sing it, sing it. We're talking about Okaka, the mighty God of battle. The mighty God of battle, yeah. Before the battle starts, before Miss Carriage came, you have won it. Okaka, 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 Okaka. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. 
hold it. Hold it. I know you've been crying, I understand. I know you've been wounded. Well, it's okay. I know you've been broken. Here today. He said, Believe in me, you will overcome. Yes, today will be your storm. I'm the God of all flesh. Your kidneys, your liver, your heart, everything. Turn it from it. seated for a minute when I started I told you it's about the atmosphere all we have done until now is to create the atmosphere for the move of God and I want you to know the time is now in a few minutes heaven will pour out on you your life will never ever ever remain the same shout that amen well I want to appreciate everyone that has worked so hard to make these meetings go well from the first day. Can you help me celebrate my team? Give a clap, a better clap. Thank you. It may not occur to those of you who are coming in here for the first time. But the foundation to this place was laid in the third week of April. So what you are seeing here was done in less than 70 days. Can you give the Lord a beautiful clap of him for this? They walked and made sure we delivered this place. This ground was water, swamp. They put close to a thousand trips of sand to stabilize it for you to be here. Everything you are seeing here was done just like that. Many of them have found it difficult to sleep, fighting to make sure that you are okay. And I want you to make them know that we love them. All our technical people, musicians, sound, whatever. I want to say thank you. The Lord will honor you more. Amen. Of every member of Gateway who has done everything to make sure we are here, uh, I want to say thank you. Give the Lord a clap offering for yourself. Glory to God. Now, uh, our aim is to be here, but we rush to be here now. We will not continue with services here every day so we can build. The reason we are not going to continue with our Sunday, we will do Sunday service here this Sunday and then step away for a few days. And I will tell you the reason is because uh, we don't have a children's church here. If you come to our present uh, headquarters, you'll notice that we divide our children into different classes. If you go to a children's church, you'll see 11 classes there. This age group, that age group, this age group. Then in the main hall, we only allow people of 20 and above to sit where I am teaching. So there are classes for people until they get there. So it kind of is a challenge for us. Are you still with me? We can't do that here. Because of that, we're going to do our Sunday service here, two services, 
7 a.m. and 9.30 this very Sunday. I'll come to that later. Then we'll still go back to our normal site. And we're going to rush building a two-story building here in two months. Then we can return. Is that okay with you? That's why I'm asking many of you, if the Lord puts it in your heart to be part of what he's doing here, please be quick to do that. Don't delay to do that. I believe that coming here, God has said to you, do something about it. So I want you to please do that. We want to put up a two-story building over there and then use it for our children's church. And we want to rush it and see in two months, maximum three, is standing there ready for use. You think if we did this 70 days, we can do that in two months? Then give the Lord a better clap offering. Praise the Lord. But this Sunday, we are going to be here. And uh, please, those of you that have been using our buses to come here, every location where there was a bus, on Sunday, by about uh, 6.30, the bus will stay be there. Or 6 o'clock, sorry. The bus will stay be there until about 7.30 and uh, for first service. And then second service by about... Uh, 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 8 uh, o'clock the boss will be there moving again to bring you for second service so you get in there and take the boss and come back here this Sunday Minister M and the Revelation will be ministering here we'll be having a beautiful beautiful Thanksgiving and I want you to know uh, the glory of God will be there and thunder will fire Satan you can't say Amen now, I know that most of you that have come for the first time are coming here to stay. I don't know where you came from. I don't know the background you came from. But I believe that Jesus brought you to this altar because he has a mercy agenda for you. I want you to know whether you believe it or not. You'll find out later. This is the headquarters of mercy on the earth now. Anywhere... I can't see you giving the Lord a clap offering on that. If you are looking for mercy, you are coming here. Somebody say, I am coming here. So I want you to know, we want you to get involved immediately. We'll be here on Sunday for the two services. Then immediately after, immediately after the service, are you with me? Immediately after the service, by 5 p.m., I'm going to have a dinner with those of you that are just joining us for the first time. So you get set. Uh, we will meet, the dinner will be in our other side. But every Sunday, uh, after this Sunday, still go back to where you pick the vehicle. Sunday by Sunday, the vehicle will be there bringing you to church free of charge. I can give the Lord a better day every Sunday. Don't struggle about it. Just do that. It's a continual thing. Since they say they remove petrol subsidy, I will give you subsidy. You can't give the Lord a better clap of around that so we can be in church. So you make sure that you are available. Now, those of you who cannot, who don't want to be doing that, we have churches scattered all over Port Harcourt. While we are here now, all our satellite churches are full. I wish they could project them. You'll see hundreds of people in different locations that are worshiping while this is going on right now. So you can actually join them and you'll still see me preaching on Sunday. But if you want to come physically, I can't prevent you. You are free to come. Give the Lord a better clap of it. Those of you outside, don't worry. There'll be no rain tonight. And if it rains on you, it's a rain of blessing. But just relax yourself. We're going to have a beautiful time. Somebody shout amen. So we're going to step out for a few days and be working on this place so we can put a few offices together and then put that place together. But we are returning here first, second, and third of September for our prophetic impartation service. And uh, I'll be ministering with uh, Apostle Rockbo and we'll be having a beautiful, beautiful time in this place. Are you set for that encounter? Pray about it. Make sure you are there. 
but every last Sunday of the month, we are here for two services, worshiping until we are here permanently. Give the Lord a better clap of freedom on that. We're working hard to put things together. I trust God for the resources, and I believe we're going to do that quickly. Those of you who have not taken our GBI form, our Gateway Bible Institute form, please pick the form now so you can be part of our training. The midnight cry. Uh, hello, hello, hello. Are you with me? Now, many of you were introduced to our night prayer during this program. But it has been there before this program. And it continues after this program. Every night, I come on air by a few minutes to 11 on Facebook, on YouTube, uh, on Life Center Network and all that. If you can't join, then join us later on radio by 11 o'clock and just roll with us. Miracle signs and wonders every day. Deliverance in people's houses every day. So I want you to please know that after, on Sunday night, we'll be rounding up this session of the midnight cry. But from Monday, our normal session of the altar of mercy, continue. give the Lord a beautiful clap offering on that. We continue doing that. Amen. So I'm expecting you to join me as we continue the journey, trusting God to take you higher and to grow you more in Christ in the name of Jesus. My desire is to pastor you. I've never made it, uh, I've never been shy about it. I've said it consistently, that God sent me to pastor Port Harcourt. Whether you have physically or not here physically, I am the pastor of this city. And I'm pastoring. I can't. Are you okay? If you are angry, call police. Go to court. I am here. No leave, no surrender. Give the Lord a better clap offering. Some of you for many years, I pastored you on radio. Is that true? You, whether you are physically here or not, that's what God asked me to do and I've been doing it and I'm trusting the Lord that God is bringing you. Please partner with us. Get it done. If God has called you to serve here, by Sunday I want you to resume duty. I don't want you coming here thinking you are you, you, you will hear. You saw choir singing and you can sing. Sunday you are going, joining the choir. You can be in the protocol. Sunday you are joining protocol. You are not hearing me. You're a woman evangelist, you're a preacher. Sunday, you are resuming duty. Anywhere you are coming from, this is your house. All we're going to do is train you briefly and then unleash you on your world. God has asked us to start a revival in our city. And the revival has started. Can you feel it has started? I am talking to the wrong people. Can you feel it has started? I want to be part of this move and I want to believe God. God is going to do a new thing in your life in Jesus' name. Okay, now, uh, many of you also know that we do faith clinic every Friday in Gateway. Uh, faith clinic is where we minister to the sick one-on-one. -on -one. And I am, people say, oh, he's a deliverance minister. I'm actually a deliverance minister, a warfare minister. So faith clinic is where we discipline Satan. We make sure turn the fires in well well. You're not hearing me. <laughs> it's on Friday morning by 9 a.m. And I want those of you who need one-on-one -on -one deliverance. We still do one-on-one -on -one deliverance in Gateway. I know some people have stopped doing that, but we still do it in Gateway. I have more than 10 teams in the church who serve under the faith clinic who serve to do that. So I want you, if you have any need for that, and that uh, questions answered for you, you want prophetic words spoken over your life, you join us on Friday. If you can't come on Friday, on Wednesday after our evening service, a night vigil goes on for people who need deliverance, you also can join. Make sure that you don't stay by the river and soap enter your eye. Make sure you maximize everything. Now, whenever we finish the vigils of destiny, 
We don't back off. We increase our work. So when we finish this now, we're not going to rest. All through the month of August and September, we run what we call the Jericho March. The Jericho March is the emphasis of the Vigil of Destiny. Are you with me? It is every Friday morning in the faith clinic. I minister to you and listen to me. Year by year, we have more harvest of testimonies out of it because everything prophesied here, we enforce it. Are you with me? So many of you are going to be giving handbills on that tonight to invite your friends. You see the shadow. Some of you are going to have stickers or whatever to use and all that. We want you to get set. Gateway Church does not rest. No, you are not hearing me. You see? I always tell them, Pastor Jerry, you know, is here. He has so much energy. He's a young man. I'm no longer as young as that. But I won't come last with energy. I may not shout like him, but I'm not retiring. Every day something is happening. Will something happen? So please get set and let's move. Uh, if I retire at this age, won't God? Uh, so please, let's move. Don't get tired. There's a work to do. Pastor Jerry is here today. I, I, wait, wait now. I have not told him that he must come back again. Do you want him to come back again this year? One well, way or another, because this house here, he must visit again. Is it okay? Yeah. Uh, so, well, we'll deal with that later. But you know that there are men that God pours his life into. You know there are people that carry the move of God in a generation. And I am proud that God chose my brother. to launch something across the nations. He's young, but he's fire in motion. The hand of God is mighty upon him. He's a lead pastor of the streams of joy and the voice on NSPPD. Somebody with a shout of praise. Make welcome to the gateway pulpit, the altar of mercy. Pastor Jerry Eze. I'm sure you were shouting for the Lord. Raise your voice louder. Kapotashaya. Give the Lord a bigger shout. Shout until the walls go down. Shout until the Lord answers you. Raise your voice. Shout louder. 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 Give the Lord a loud shout. Can I hear someone turn the fire? Fire! I don't know whether you know it will end tonight. When the Bible says, surely there is an end. Surely there is an end. Can I hear you turn the end by fire? fire? I'm not sure there is something you know that has to end. It's either it ends tonight or tonight. Lift up your right hand and shout end by fire. By fire! End by fire! End by fire! End by fire! Let your amen turn the louder! Lift up your right hand say today! Whatsoever that has followed me that is not of God! Whatever 
that has made me cry whatsoever that has oppressed my destiny right now fire 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 open your mouth a second racket a major a shabada a tale a racket a shabada a tame racket a recipe ital a racket a shabada a rabada a tale a racket a shada a bala a sade a cotto a rabbit a lavenus a rata a lavia let your amen turn the louder Tonight we are now surely there is an end. Surely there is an end. And the expectation of the righteous will not be cut short. And we command every cycle. We command every ordinance. We command every wrong foundation. We command every covering. We command every arrow. And the sound of your amen we oh, command oh. and right now 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 can you release your seven loud amen Wherever you are, would you take your seat in the presence of the Lord for just a few seconds? And people of God, it is always a joy to be here. It's always an honor to find myself on this exalted altar. People of God, when you talk about men of God who carry an uncommon mantle, when you talk about men of God, let me borrow his word and say, people who've got the native corrosive oil. And when you speak about men of God who have gone beyond just being voices to being territorial voices, people of God, there's a difference. Oh, no, don't let me don't let me unbundle that matter. People of God, please help me celebrate one of God's choices, servants, not just in our nation, someone I am proud to call my very own. People of God, help me celebrate the set man of God over this house help me celebrate Pastor George celebrate 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 hallelujah once again thank you so for all that you represent and all that you are in the kingdom we love you from the depth of our heart thank you so much Somebody help me once again. Can you turn the fire? Fire! Listen, I want to let you know that in the next few minutes, you and I are going to be together. You must get ready to do everything I want you to do. I want you to know that tonight, you didn't just come here. I want you to know that your family members are lining behind you. I want you to know that you are not just here for yourself Amen. because you must carry an evidence back to the house. Amen. You must carry an evidence back to the house. Amen. I want you to know this is not an ordinary night. This is not a night like before. As the sound of your amen, I announce, let an evidence you never expected, let it enter your life right now. Let it enter your family right now. Let it enter. Let it enter. Let it enter. Let your amen turn the louder. Can you help me rise on your feet and help me lift up your right hand and turn to say where I am? I didn't hear you turn to say where I am. It's too small. Say where I am. It's too small. Say right now. I break out. I break out. I break out. Say today. Any power. Any confinement. Around my destiny, say right now, I break out, I break out, I break out, I break out, say every.
every delay I break out every stagnation I break out every evil covering I break out I break out I break out I break out by fire by fire by fire by fire by fire open your mouth break out break out break out break out a shakana a lapata a rasana a shana a koto rasani a koto a shavia a koto a rasana when you become restless when you become restless you will break the yoke you will break the yoke off your neck a pata a lapata a lapata a rasani a koto a shana a lata a rasani a shaka a ata a rabere a shabara a lata rakoto rabba a shad a tava a rakoto a shaka a lene a rasa a shaka a lata a rada a koto a lame a sa a shaka a tala a yatola a rabere a sane a shabara let your amen turn the louder. Let your amen turn down. I announce break out. I announce break out. I announce break out. Every oppression break out. Every manipulation break out. Every evil covering break out. I hear your name on a higher level. Break out of your present level. Break out of your present level. Break out of your present level. Your present level. Let your amen turn down. Let your amen rise. Let your amen rise. Let your amen rise. Let your amen turn the louder. Let me hear you turn the fire. Let me hear you turn the fire. Hear me as I hear the Lord at the sound of your amen. That line the enemy has drawn that you will never cross. That line you have never crossed since last year, since the beginning of January. At the sound of your amen, I announce in three days, beginning from now, I announce cross the line. I announce cross the line. 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 Let your aim and turn Let your aim and turn Let your aim and rise. Can I hear you turn the fire? Can I hear you turn the fire? want you to call your name and say Jerry call your name and say Jerry say God say it the Lord God say it the Lord rise 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 to the fullness to the fullness of your destiny if you believe it thunder it louder amen let me explain what I mean by this. Things have been happening in your life, but you know it's not yet to the fullness of your destiny. The man that I am looking at is not yet the man that God wants you to be. I want you to call your name again with a loud voice. Say, Jerry. Say, God, say yet the Lord. Say, rise. Rise to the fullness of your destiny can you call your name a third time say Jerry say God say the Lord say rise 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 to the fullness of your destiny if you believe it thunder it louder amen can you declare say right now right now any power, any weight, any arrow holding me down, wherever you are, turn the fire, turn the fire, turn the fire. Say any arrow, any weight, any power holding me down right now. 
Fire! 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 Open your mouth! Rakatola! Shabada! Abalata! Rise! 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 Asaka! Alata! Arabada! Asakodo! Ashabada! Atad! Asabada! Ashakoto! Rasima! Atola! Ashabe! Ata! Abada! Akoto! Rasa! Lata! Ashabada! Akoto! Rasabada! Alaka! Zada! Rama! Ashaka! Atala! Rakoto! Ashane! Lakoto! Rabababa! Ashakato! Rama! Rakoto! Asabada! Atalada! Abanada! Ashabada! Akoto! Rasada! Alabada! Asha! Akoto! Rasa! Abanada! Alata! Arasa! Alati! Rama! Alata! Ashabada! Abalada! Asada! Let your aim at Tonda Lauda! Let your aim at Tonda! With your two hands lifted wherever you are, hear me as I hear the Lord. You will not be a dwarf in destiny. You have a lot to offer your generation. There is still so much that can come out of you. At the sound of your amen, I announce, let the giant in you rise. I say rise to the fullness of your destiny. Rise to the fullness of your destiny. Rise to the fullness of your destiny. Of your destiny. I announce, arise and shine. Arise and shine. For your light has come. Come, and the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. Arise and shine. 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 Let your amen thunder. I don't know who needs to hear this, but at the sound of your amen, what stopped it the last time will not stop it again. Let your amen turn the louder. Can I announce it again? What stopped it the last time will not stop it again. Let your amen rise. Higher. Let your amen rise. Higher. It is not a coincidence that this is the last, the last vigil of destiny. And on the last day of the feast, and on the last day of the feast, a cry, a call was made. A call was made. He said, is there anyone that is thirsty? On the last day of the feast, a call was made. Is there anyone that is not yet satisfied? On the last day of the feast, a call was made. Is there anyone who feels that more can happen as your two hands are lifted? A barakata, a shepherd, whatever that still needs to happen at the sound of your amen, receive it as your evidence. 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 Let your amen turn down. Let your amen turn down. Let your amen turn down. Just allow me to go the way I am going. Lift up your right hand. I need you to call your name and say, Jerry. Say the season has come. Say the season has come. Call your name and say, Jerry. No more walking. Say, Jerry. Start running. In destiny. Start running. Start running. Say, my speed. My speed is increased. My my speed uh, is increased. Uh, Rhina, 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 Rhina. Open your mouth, uh, Shakata, a uh, Shabada, a uh, Lebed, a uh, Quota, a uh, Rabada, a uh, Shaka. 
Shakade, Alabene, Arasa, Ashakade, Arabaraba, Akoto, Rapete, Alabea, Ashakade, Arasa, Atod, Ameada, Asabade, Akoto, Ashabada, Alata, Rapato, Ashaba, Alakodo, Rasa, Ameada, Ashaba, Arabada, Akoto, Rabala, Asada, let your amen turn the louder. Call your name again and say, Jerry. Shall run. Say, Jerry. Say, Soa. Say, Jerry. Say, run. Say, Jerry. Say, Soa. Say, Jerry. Say, run. Say, Jerry. Say, Soa. If you believe it, turn the louder. Amen. The reason why you need to get this right the Bible said they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength they will mount up with wings as eagles they will run and they will not grow weary and they will walk and they will not faint they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength but listen they that wait upon the Lord everybody waited upon the Lord but everybody will not have the same movement everybody they that wait upon the Lord every of them came for vigil of destiny you will not after waiting upon the Lord you will be classified as those that walked no sir I came with a mandate from the Lord to raise your expectation you are not going to walk you will sower you will sower you will sower I said run New season, run above the whips of man, run, 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 let your aim and turn down, let your aim and rise up, let your aim and rise up, let your aim and rise up, let your aim and rise. And I want you to realize that the Lord gave me seven mandates. Kabaro Shandiada, Ali Barasita, Arabadasa, and we are just not yet started yet. Liberado Sukadaya, because you know what? Enough has to be enough. Kabarasada, he that changes the stories of men, he that changes the times and the seasons, except there is nothing called the supernatural. Esa Ayabalada, Ali Barasadiada. Lift up your right hand and the glass say right now. Say any man or woman responsible for any evil around my life. Say vengeance of God. Locate them right now. Locate them right now. Locate them right now. I hear you scream fire people of God they still have five minutes to change their mind they still have five minutes to change their mind at the sound of your amen if they don't change their mind in the next five minutes their obituary shall be announced by 5 a.m. let your amen rise higher have you ever read in the scripture it is a righteous thing for the Lord to recompense tribulation to them that trouble you another translation said it is a righteous thing for the Lord to trouble your troublers somebody shall fire can you shall fire can you shall fire raise your right and say today any strong man any diabolical man any wicked man 
in my family, in my kindred, from my father's house, wherever you are, judgment of God, fall on them right now, by fire, by fire, by fire, 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 open your mouth, shakata, rakoto, ashata, asabada, atakata, lata, rakato, asha, abarada, asabada, akato, arabada, alakata, arabada, asata, arabada, rakoto, arabada, arabasha, arakato, asato, ababa, akata, alabe, asada, arabada. Let your amen turn the louder. Let your amen rise. Amen. Wherever you are, lift up your two hands. Shandebero dosaka arabadi basande kete. I see these two sisters, two of you, abaradu shandeya. Two of you have not had children, and two of you are in this house tonight. Kabali baro shande. Wherever you are, abaladi sande kada. I pray tonight by the power that raised Jesus from the dead. Kabala both of you, akola da shande. In fact, both of you are seated together Kalabarida Shire by the power that raised Jesus from the dead I announce carry your babies right now I use the two of you as a point of contact to every woman desiring to carry their babies here by the power that raised Jesus from the dead I announce receive your children right now receive your children right now Receive your children right now. Let your amen turn down. You are not sick anywhere in your body, but you are wearing adult pampas. You are wearing adult pampas because you are having fecal incontinence. Allah, you can hold, you can hold it, you can hold it, you can hold it, you can hold it when it's coming. You can hold feces, you can hold feces, and that's why you're here. Thus say the Lord, Abarashia, at your amen will thunder. I command, let it disappear right now. 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 Let your aim and turn now. Let your aim and turn now. Everybody lift up your two hands. I announce every congratulation you have waited for. I join my fate with the fate of the man of God over this commission. Every congratulation you have waited for in the next four weeks. In the next four weeks, marital celebration, whatever it is, in the next four weeks. In the next four weeks, 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 receive it as your evidence. Receive it as your evidence. The siege has been broken. 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 Let your aim and turn now. And Jesus announced as part of his mission and he said he came to declare the acceptable year of the Lord and the day of God's vengeance to comfort them that mourn in Zion. I have a mandate from the Lord to someone under the sound of my voice. I came to announce to you that this is still the acceptable year of your celebration. 
I am not talking to everyone. It is you that I am talking to. Amen. The Lord sent me to tell you Amen. this is still the acceptable year. Amen. We came to proclaim it. We came to proclaim it. We came to proclaim it. It is the acceptable year. It is the acceptable year. Acceptable year of your congratulations. Acceptable year of your dance of joy. Acceptable year of your breaking out. Acceptable year of your breaking forth. Let your aim and turn down. Let your aim and rise. 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 Lift up your two hands. There can never be a proclamation of the acceptable year of the Lord without announcing vengeance. People of God, so as we proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord, we will be declaring vengeance. Kabbalah and the idea behind it, Prophet Isaiah said, it is in order to comfort them that mourn in Zion. You cannot proclaim an acceptable year. You cannot proclaim the year of Jubilee without God turning a sword of vengeance at the sound of your amen voices manipulations altars and shrines that have held back your celebration that have held back your congratulation at the sound of your amen let the vengeance of the Lord come upon them somebody will laugh for oh. somebody will laugh for oh. in 24 hours 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 let your aim and thunder let your aim and thunder let your aim and rise let your aim and rise let your aim and thunder and while we are praying right now I command let every blind eye open yes sir it is going on right now let every deaf ear open let every limb feet rise right now let them rise 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 let your aim and thunder everyone lift up your two hands this might not be for everyone but let me pray for someone and the devil is saying you can enjoy open doors in every other area but there is that one area the devil has held your door the scripture calls it the iron gates that lead to the city as the door was opening for Peter every door was opening for him there was a last one that opened there was a last one that opened and the Bible calls it the iron gate that lead them to the city some of you some doors have opened but there is yet one that is yet one it has proved to be an iron gate Shabana, Akola, Shia, it has proved to be an iron gate at the sound of your amen at the sound of your amen Apakotosha, Rabadasada, that iron gate that has mocked your prayers, that iron gate that has ridiculed you, that iron gate that's made you look like God is not interested in you. Oh my God, oh my God, that iron gate, a shepherd that stopped the members of your family, that iron gate that held back your ministry, that iron gate, a shepherd that has reduced a champion to become a mediocre that iron gate a shepherd that's brought you out of the resources and the access you need that iron gate a katosh at the sound of your amen I command let them open 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 
Let them open. Let them open. Let them open. 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 Let your amen chanda. At the sound of your amen, any lump in any part of your body. How about the people of God? I want you to know that what we came here tonight to do is called Vigil of Destiny. Amen. It's about your destiny. Allow me to declare this. I don't know who I am praying for, but any transaction, any exchange, any exchange that has gone on in your life, the battle has any exchange wherever they exchange your favor wherever they exchange your access wherever they exchange what belongs to you at the sound of your amen I announce let it be reversed wherever they exchange your glory the glory of your family when I look at you I see this is not how you started this is not how you started this is not how you started when you were growing up the way you were moving in primary school moving in secondary school the question is what's happened what's happened this is not where you should have been at the sound of your amen the Bible said revive thy works in the midst of the years I could hear any exchange on the sound of your amen I announce let it be refreshed that's what I came here tonight to do people of God the scripture speaks about two women two women they said we were together in the same room and a prostitute and they gave back to their children somebody help me turn that say I exchanged the exchange somebody turn it again say I exchanged the exchange and one woman said while I was asleep in the night the woman said oh, this other woman that was me with me in the same house laid on her child and her child died and when she saw that her child there was dead this woman took the dead child and came and exchanged it with my living child and when I woke up in the morning all I saw was a dead child this woman took my child this woman took my destiny this woman took what belongs to me and the woman said because I was sleeping because I was not aware because I was not conscious hear me as I hear the Lord when exchange happens in the realm of the spirit half of the time the people involved are not even aware are not even aware at the sound of your amen where they exchange your marriage the brain of your children your favor wherever they exchange and David asked is there not a cause is there not a cause on the sound of your amen let every exchange be re-exchange take back your favor take back your glory take back your marriage take back your children take them back Take them back, 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 take them back. Let your amen turn the louder. Your neighbor may not understand what is going on tonight, but when it is a destiny matter, I remember Jacob. I remember Jacob as he held on to the angel. He said, I'm not going anywhere. Jacob.
Jacob wrestled. Abaladasa. He wrestled with God. Abalina Sute. He said, I'm not going anywhere. I believe there are people like that here tonight. And you're saying it's been a long time coming. I am answering a name that is not my name. I'm answering a name. Unmarried. That's not my name. Family that has wrong foundation. That's not my name. That person that's been delayed. That's not my name. Cancer. That's not my name. Diabetes. That's not my name. Hypertension. That's not my name. And Jacob wrestled. And Jacob wrestled with God. And his name was changed from Jacob to Israel. And the word says, For as a prince, as a prince, you have prevailed with God and with man. At the sound of your amen, let me tell someone at the end of this meeting, the prophetic word over your life will be you have prevailed with God and with man. The louder your amen, the quicker it is happening. Let your amen rise higher. Let your amen rise higher. Let your amen rise higher. Let your amen rise. Let your amen rise. Let your amen rise. Can I hear you turn the fire? Can I hear you turn the fire? Can I hear you shout fire? Can I hear you shout fire? Can I hear you turn the fire? Karabada Bosia, as your two hands are lifted. Kabarado Shida and Libarabab, wherever you are that you have outgrown. Any space that you are in that you have outgrown. Any cycle and circle that you're in that you've outgrown. Any level that you are in that you've outgrown. At the sound of your amen, I announce by this time in the next three days, may you find yourself on a new level. The louder your amen, the quicker the answer. Let your amen rise. Higher. Let your amen rise. Higher. Can I hear you shout fire? Lift up your right hand, your neighbor does not understand. Shout with the life of say tonight is my night. Can you shout it again? Tonight is my night. At the sound of your amen, every package designed for you in the course of this vigil of destiny, I announce none of them will pass you by. Let your amen rise. Higher. Let your amen rise. Higher. Let your amen rise. Amen. I want you to know, and when Jesus met the man at the gatherings, Abba Lord Asha, he asked the man, What is your name? And the man said, Abba, it is Legion. Legion. People of God talking about close to 6,000 demons. Close to 6,000 demons. People of God. But that is not the catch for me. It's the operation of the legionnaires. The way the legions are stratified. People of God. The legions are divided. Like a legion was a military term that described Roman soldiers. The way Roman soldiers were categorized. Especially when they went for warfare. Look at what interested me about the legion spirit especially as that man at the gathering said people of God every arrangement of the legions people of God between the first arrangement and the second arrangement sometimes it would take something like 10 meters sometimes it would take something like I'm going somewhere please come with me sometimes it would take 15 meters between the first and the second and people of God the third the fourth the fifth the sixth people of God you know what happens when you are fighting a 
legion spirit and you imagine I am discomfiting this ones the first arrangement of the legions and you are blessing God and you are giving a testimony Lord I thank you that I am coming out of this people of God it will only give you a few meters then another set will now come and face you again do you know one of the things why they move like that there are times when even from the last set the way they were categorized from the last set one of the legionnaires can decide to shoot a projectile from the last up until where their enemy is while their enemy will be fighting with the one they can see will be fighting with the ones that are in front of them he will not be aware that another set right at the back is targeting them so when the man said we are legions that was what the man was trying to explain sometimes we shoot arrows from where these ones are not expecting sometimes we send projectiles to where they are not expecting sometimes we give them some time when they are about to testify we strike again sometimes we allow them to think that the battle is over when they want to jubilate we make things go wrong again at the sound of your amen any manifestation of the legion spirit around your life around your family on your nose let it be broken I said let it be broken let it be broken let it be broken let it be broken right now lift up your two hands wherever you are please lift up your two hands somebody help me shout fire fire please once again for the second time help me shout fire fire for the third time can you help me thunder fire fire for the fourth time can you help me thunder fire fire for the fifth time somebody help me thunder fire fire for the sixth time, somebody help me turn the fire. For the seventh time, somebody help me turn the fire. Please, as your two hands are lifted, anyone under the sound of my voice that through your dreams some demonic transactions took place anyone under the sound of my voice held down by any spiritual spouse spirit husband spirit wife anyone under the sound of my voice that the foundations of their father's house is still troubling them anyone under the sound of my voice oppression from the pit of hell anybody under the sound of my voice going through any form of demonic oppression fire of God wherever they are wherever they are wherever they are deliverance power of God deliverance power of God wherever they are in this room outside in the overflow wherever they are a car part a shepherd a satuba a torasani a shepherd a tad let them go 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 of your two hands I announce again wherever they are under the sound of my voice 
and any evil covering of veil Keranda Subada Shiada Remena Sutanaya any satanic atmosphere around you Kebero Shondo Loborosiada any demonic transaction that is going on in your dream that is leaving some witchcraft deposits in your body Kabaratu Shakata mysteries you don't know where they are coming from Okorobosha, oppressa kibadasa, lakorosha dia, abaladarasa, rasha dia, lakotolasha, rapadasa. By the power that raised Jesus from the dead, I am ours. Let every yoke be broken. I said, let them go right now. 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 Let them go. 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 Let your amen turn the louder. Shanebere. Lift up your two hands wherever you are. Kerabada Soda Nebea. Arande Bashada. I don't know what they said is wrong with the valve of your heart but right now the healing power of God is going to the valve of your heart and at the sound of your amen I decree let every Karaba disease let it disappear right now amen. I said let it disappear right now amen. there's a woman here your husband is mentally sick let God be true and every man a liar as you return back home Karaba, you will meet a husband that is sane I command let every demonic spirit of insanity let it disappear right now let it disappear right now let it disappear right now let your amen turn the louder you can hear me it is so visible that your unequal legs will cause your body to tilt to one side it is that visible and you are standing right now i want you to check your legs again i want you to check your legs again i decree by the word of the lord let every unequal leg at the sound of the amen of god's people i announce let them be equal right now let them become equal right now let them become equal right now I command let every goiter disappear let every goiter disappear let every goiter disappear let your amen turn the louder and they said your child has two more in the brain by the power that raised Jesus from the dead I command let every tumor in the brain let it disappear right now please allow me to decree this any man or woman holding what belongs to you any man or woman holding what belongs to you any power of hell holding what belongs to you at the sound of your amen in seven days any office holding in what belongs to you holding your payment in seven days I announce let it be released right now 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 let your amen turn the louder Help me lay your two hands on your head and can you turn down after me say my father my father, my father my I need father. you to shout it louder say my father my father, father. scream it louder again my father my father, my father my say we are ever we are ever I am sleeping in destiny say my father wake me up shout it wake me up wake me up say my father my father in my prayer 
prayer life is asleep. Wake me up in my consecration. Is asleep. Wake me up. Say in my walk with you. Is asleep. Wake me up. 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 Somebody turn the I am awake. Shout it louder, I am awake. I'm awake. Scream it louder, I am awake. Shout it, I am awake. Scream it louder, I am awake. Shout it louder, I am awake. Thunder it louder, I am awake. If you believe it, thunder it louder, amen. amen. Wherever you are, quickly help me open your scriptures. Open your Bibles very quickly. Karande Boshadaya. The devil is a liar. The greatest mistake the devil made was to allow you to be here. Did you hear what I just said tonight? The devil made the greatest mistake by allowing you to be here tonight. Because the man that walked in here. Karando Sunday Araba. Arabalea da Sunday Koroshedeba. Lebea da Sunday Ara. If you're under the sound of my voice and you're saying to me, Barada, Pastor, I am going down. I look like things are going down in my life. There is a special anointing and grace here now. Kabbalah to pull you to where you truly belong. If that sounds like you, can you rise on your feet and lift up your two hands? It looks like things are going down. Things are going down. Things are, whether it's finance, whether it's career, whether it's ministry, and you're saying, Pastor, I must be honest that things are going down. Rabadli Koro Shandeyada, in the order of Peter, for as Peter was trying to sink, he cried out and said, Lord, help me. And Jesus grabbed him by the hand. Kabarosi and pulled him out at the sound of your amen wherever you are going down let the right hand of the Lord pull you up by fire if God gave me this word by this time tomorrow you will see an evidence that you are no longer where you were. People see you and they admire you, but they don't know it's your former glory. It is your former glory that things are no longer the way they are. But as the amen of God's people will turn the iron house, let every siege around you, let it be broken. 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 Let your amen turn the louder. Carabosia da Balosa. Open your scriptures very quickly. And we're going to read the book of Jeremiah. The Spirit of God is saying to me, ever since you had that stroke, you've not been able to walk well again. You've not been able to walk well again. While the word is going on, you can decide to just take a walk again. Take a walk again and you will discover as the amen of this congregation will thunder. Let every landmark of what happened to you of the stroke you experienced at the sound of your amen let it disappear right now amen. let it disappear right now amen. while we are praying now I command any opened wound any open wound that has refused to heal at the sound of your amen let it seal up right now amen. let it seal up right now I love to do this because I've seen God do it many times, confirming it with signs and wonders. Kabaro Shandera. People of God, help me declare. Declare, say the time of my celebration. The time of my celebration has finally come. Has finally come. Finally come. Now I want, I, want, I want you to do something. I want you to do something. Now you're gonna open your mouth, fix a date. Fix a date for it. Just fix a date. 
fix a date, put a date, put a date. Any date that the Lord put in your mouth, any date the Lord put in your mouth, fix a date for it, fix a date for it, fix a date for it. Korasha, you can actually fix for your children as well. You can actually fix for your children as well. How about the word is near thee, it's in thy mouth. That's what the Bible says the word of faith which we preach. You are not just making a sound, but angels are right by you, Rhina. Angels are right by you, Kobalene, Eredibolo Shada, Aratiba Sede, Ekoro Sobodose, Akala Barababasa, Ekoro Subandike, Alla Barabasha. At the sound of your amen, I announce, let your dates be supernaturally confirmed. Let your date be supernaturally confirmed. Let it be confirmed. Let your celebration arrive. Let it 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 arrive. Somebody help me shout again, say tonight is my night. Tonight is my night. You're saying it as if you're afraid of your neighbor. Help me turn that to your neighbor. Say tonight is my night. Tonight is my night. Help me look at your neighbor. Say, neighbor, I am not like you. I'm not like you. Oh, yes, oh yes. Tell your neighbor I have a destiny to fulfill. I have a destiny to Tell your neighbor, say it's about my destiny. It's about my destiny. Tell your neighbor it's about my future. It's about my future. Tell your neighbor I have a destiny to fulfill. I have a destiny. Say to your neighbor, this is vigil of destiny. Tell your neighbor, if God does not help me, tell your neighbor, you cannot even help me. Whatever I ask you to do, just follow me and do it right now. I say right now. I want you to declare after me, say right now. Say I release my name in the atmosphere. And you call your full name, say Jerry Say I release you in the atmosphere say my name enter enter rooms enter palaces enter places you never imagine you will enter say my name enter enter for recommendation enter for approval enter for favor I release my name I release my name I release my name I release my name, I release my name, I release my name, I release your name, I release my name, open your mouth, release your name, release your name, put favor on your name, put favor on your name, put approval on your name, put recommendation on your name, put favor on your name, put approval on your name, put recommendation on your name, put recommendation on your name, put 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 your name, your name, will no longer be your name, Shabana, Akota, Erebese, Eshapata, Arabada, Asabadi, Akoto, Eshadi, Arabede, Asapata, Alakodo, Eshabede, Alaba, can you release the name of your business? Release the name of your business at the name of your career. Release it right now at the name of your ministry. Release the name, release it in the atmosphere, release it in the atmosphere. Asabada, Release it. It is entering people's houses. A Kolosha. A Rabada. A helper. He's hearing your name. He's hearing the name of your business. From nowhere. A Baraka. A Shabada. They will not rest. They will not rest until they fulfill the mandate of the Lord over your name. A Shabada. A Sabada. A Kotola. A Shabada. A Rasadi. A Kotola. A Sibaya. A Balada. Let your amen turn the louder. The name of your business. At the sound of your amen. He just entered the ear of your help. The name of your ministry. At the sound of your amen. He has entered to the people that are called to you. Let your amen rise. Amen. Let your amen turn the louder. Amen. Where your labor cannot take you to. Your name has already gone ahead. Amen. Some people will be hearing your name tonight. Akoba, do you know some people are sleeping right now? In their dream, your name will be shown to them. Amen. Let your amen turn the louder. Your name is going.
going to where your husband is. Your name is moving to where your wife is. They will hear your name tonight. They will hear your business name. They will hear you clearly. 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 Favor is on your name. Approval is on your name. Recommendation is on your name. Yes is on your name. Let your amen thunder. Shabadi Korodasa Ali Baradasa Haki Balado Sibene People of God, this is the last day, and on the last day of the feast, a call was made. Is there anyone that is thirsty? Abalukoro Shania Abedosi Badata and the Lord is dealing with every area of our lives because you will not live here. The same person that walked in. I wish your amen were thunder really loud. Open your Bibles to the book of Jeremiah chapter 31. Jeremiah chapter 31 verse 15. We read the book of Jeremiah chapter 31 verse 15. Jeremiah chapter 31 verse 15. Hallelujah. The scripture says, Thus saith the Lord. A voice was heard in Ramah, lamentation and bitter weeping. Rahel, Rachel, as all the scriptures will call it, weeping for her children, refused to be comforted for her children because they were not. Verse 16, thus saith the Lord, refrain thy voice from weeping and thy eyes from tears. For thy work shall be rewarded, saith the Lord. And they shall come again from the land of the enemy. And there is hope in thine end. <laughs> hey, Shabaleada. Help me look at your neighbor. Tell your neighbor the end is now. Let me read verse 17 again. He said, And there is hope in thine end, saith the Lord, that thy children shall come again to their own border people of God, this personification was used in the mode of Rachel. If you remember Rachel, do you remember Rachel? People of God, remember Rachel? Rachel, by the way, is the wife of who, if you remember? Uh, Rachel is the wife of who? Rachel. People, sorry, Rachel was the wife of Jacob. Many years ago, many years ago, many years ago, after Rachel had died and gone, prophet Jeremiah announcing about the return of the captivity, especially of the young men who had been taken into captive, began to use Rachel, who symbolized like the mother of Israel, and began to prophesy and then he says, Kapolosha, Rebeara, the voice of lamentation is heard, a voice of weeping, Rachel weeping over her children, people of God, because they are gone, they are nowhere to be found. But then again, he comes again and says, refrain thy voice from crying, because all of these things are going to be reversed. Now, it caught my attention further because the scripture again, in highlighting the scripture, in the book of Matthew chapter 2 verse 18, if it is not too much for the asking, open your Bible again to the book of Matthew chapter 2 verse 18. The scripture highlights the scripture one more time again for a different situation, but then again, still the same richer. The Bible say in Ramah was there a voice heard, lamentation and weeping and great mourning. Rachel weeping for her children and would not be comforted because they are not people of God. Again, speaking about the death that Herod caused. Then it borrows again the life of Rachel and then begins to tell us one more time about the prophecy that Jeremiah gave highlighted again by brother Matthew again speaking about the weeping and the lamentation of Rachel and that is why tonight I came to reverse the lamentation amen. that amen is too weak for what God amen. is about to do Help me look at your neighbor and announce to your neighbor you will not cry again. You will not cry again. I want you to say it again to your neighbor like a minute. Say you will not cry again. You will not cry again. 
does it shock you to know that what prophet Jeremiah prophesied people of God by Matthew again there was need to cite that prophecy because it was being fulfilled again it was such a negative prophecy but it was being fulfilled again now the old covenant the old testament as it were had come and gone we were in the new testament but then again there was something from the old that was still going to be fulfilled a negativity from the old that was still going to be cited in the new something that did not work in the old that was still again going to be repeated again in the new something that was off and was odd and awkward in the old that was still again going to be cited in the new hear me as i hear the lord whatever belongs to your old that wants to make an incursion into your new at the sound of your amen i announce let it be reversed by fire 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 let it be reversed let it be reversed let it be reversed let your amen turn the louder way I, I am intrigued that Rachel has been mentioned again and again uh, this woman has been mentioned again and again and the only thing that comes to my mind when I think about Rachel the only thing I remember when I think about Rachel is the woman that died in the place of transition she carried a baby in her womb if you remember Rachel and as she was trying to give birth to her baby Kobarande said she had something on the inside she had her corosa and evidence to show her generation but while she was just about to give birth as soon as she gave birth to that child Rabado Sakataya Halabariana Akondeasa Rachel was nowhere to be found Rachel was the woman who died in her place of transition Kabaron de I came with a wobara cedar and Libarada before I prophesy let me say to everyone under the sound of my voice no matter what happens make sure you don't die in your transition amen listen uh, before i make it a prophecy let me announce to you in the season of your transition when you become unaware of what you are carrying or what you're delivering you are classified as dead let me say it again in the season listen you came to vigil of destiny and i want to assure you that the lord is ushering you into a new dimension of who you are but people of god the bible says let me for to be carnally minded is death you can carry an evidence in the womb of your spirit but if you get to the season of your transition and there is no life in you Kaborasa, I am afraid, Korasada, you will have nothing to present to your generation. So, sir, in the season of your transition, I beg of you, please don't die. Everything comes under attack when you are in your transition season. Everything comes under attack. Your prayer life is under attack. Your, your, your study life is under attack. Because the devil knows that you are just about to move into a new season. People of God, don't be like Rachel. Loved, favored, but yet died in pain don't be like Rachel that in the season of transition what people have waited for you were not alive to show your generation lift up your right hand and declare after me say today I decree and declare over my life I will not die in my season of transition if you understand it on die aloud amen and I pray for you powers that kill the zeal of man powers that kill the consecration of man powers that kill the prayer life of man in their season of trans abandoned from the dead let it be broken from your life let it be broken from your life let it be broken from your life let it be broken once again I need you to declare say I will not die in my season of trans Transition. Shout it loud and say, I will not die will not in my season of transition. If you understand it, thunder it louder. Amen. amen. Let your amen rise. Amen. Let your amen rise. Amen. Let your amen rise. Amen. 
people of God, you will not forget Shabarande Korosara that Rachel was pointed to because of what happened about the birth of Jesus. This prophecy was repeated again about the birth of Jesus. This is a vigil of destiny. It's about my destiny. It's not about my neighbor's destiny. And I need you to know that destiny has been designed that men and women will be birthed into something or they betting things. But by all means, let not what you have been betting into die and let not what you are betting die and let not the person that is betting it die let me say it again people of God destiny is designed in such a way is either you are betting or you are being bettered into something and my prayer what I am saying is no matter what you are doing don't let what you are betting die don't let what you are being bettered into die don't even let the one that is betting die people of God I need you to understand that you can be bettered into something that is already dead you will arrive there and it will hold nothing for you people of God you can actually be betting something and by the time you are betting what you are betting you find out it is already dead and what you are betting at the end of all your labor amount to nothing people of God there's a possibility that even you that is betting yes you have betted something very huge but unfortunately unfortunately Unfortunately, unfortunately, you yourself that have bettered it, you are even come across. I can unbundle what the people of God do you know? And evidence can be in front of you, like Rachel. You are dead, you are blind, you are unaware, you are not discerning, you are not sensitive to know what it is because you are going to walk out of here. The next prayer you are going to pray. Let me say this to everyone under the sound of my voice. We know how to pray. I say this all the time to my church. I say them all, all the time. People of God, one thing is to know how to pray another thing is to know how to receive did you hear what I just said right now so wait there's a whole lot of energy put into the place of prayer but people of God there is little understanding about positioning for receiving people of God unfortunately you see the receiving another man cannot receive it for you so sir when we are here every prophetic word we release here they galvanize the elements they galvanize possibilities they galvanize spiritual patterns so that they can work for what God is about to do in your life but then again as you step out of here everything spiritual senses must be allowed your discernment must be allowed back around so that you can discern where is my answer when is my answer people of God so that you can be rightly positioned because you know what some people have come face to face with their answer and they use their mouth to talk their answer out of their lives people of God my prayer for you is that what you are betting what you have been bettered into even you that is bettered at the sound of your amen none of you will die amen. I wish that, that amen will be louder than it is amen. let your amen rise higher let your amen rise higher let your amen rise higher let your amen turn the louder. And people of God, if we go by the Matthew's account, you know the reason why this thing happened is because of Herod. It's because of Herod. Herod had heard that a new king was born. And remember the wise men had come to meet with him. And then Herod immediately heard, ah, a new king had been born. And Herod was mad. Herod was furious. Even, especially after he had asked them, go and find where the king is. Like, come back and tell me about it so that I will worship, worship the king as well. But then again, God instructed them and said, don't go back there. And Herod said, is that true? So you're not coming back here? No problem. What's going to happen is that children from two years down I'm gonna wipe them away people of God this was another time that this kind of event was happening after it happened during the time of Pharaoh people of God it was being repeated one more time again in the time of Herod I say every child every child male child from this so and so down to there make sure you wipe out that child and people of God this is how people were dying because of the Herod spirit people of God some Somebody help me shout Herod. Herod. Can you help me turn the fire? Herod. I didn't hear you. Can you scream it louder? Shout Herod. Herod. Can you shout fire? Herod. Can you shout Herod? Herod? Can you shout fire? Herod. Can you shout Herod? Herod? Can you shout fire? Herod. Can you shout Herod? Herod. Can you shout fire? Herod. Herod. 
You know why Herod is important to me in this service? Because I'm going to be calling you up in one second right now for us to pray together. Why Herod is important to me, especially in the manifestation of Herod here, is that Herod was looking for children who were still coming up. The spirit of Herod has made manifest in the book of Matthew chapter 2 does not go for things when they are fully grown. Herod begins to attack your answers when you cannot even recognize that your answers are coming. Herod wants to catch them young. Herod wants to break it when it is still coming. Herod wants to destroy it before you even know that this is the answer. Herod wants to go behind the scene, snatch who God has sent to you. Herod wants to go even as your answers are coming after vigil of destiny. Herod targets them when they are still young. Herod tries to extinguish them when they are still coming up. Herod goes to your contact. Herod goes to your favor when he's still arising. Another spirit that looks like the spirit of Herod is the spirit of Ataliah. If you remember Ataliah, this was the woman at the death of her child went and took all the children that had royalty in them and this woman killed all of them. This woman wiped out all of them because you know what? The spirit of her and by the way, Ataliah is the daughter of Jezebel. People of God. So while Ataliah targets children that are small, Jezebel himself, herself, does not go for small children. Jezebel goes for great destinies. So the spirit of Jezebel targets greatness. The spirit of Ataliah targets great things that are small. And so Jezebel waits for you when you get big because her husband will cry and she will ask her husband why are you crying and he says it's because of Naboth he said because of Naboth I can fix that guy please go and relax this is Jezebel at work Jezebel killed a man by raising sons of Belial against that man people of God Jezebel wakes up and hears that 450 prophets of Baal have been slaughtered and Jezebel sits back and asks who does that sends a letter to the almighty prophet Elijah and the guy picked race and ran away from the destiny. This is who Jezebel is. Jezebel goes for great destinies while Ataliah goes for the ones that are still being better. You came here tonight. You are better a lot of things. You have said a lot of amen. There is a spirit called the spirit of Ataliah. The spirit of Herod. They will start looking for this small thing that you have prayed. Because you know what? Some of you, your sensitivity is not yet strong enough to catch it when it is coming. Your sensitivity is not strong enough to notice when your answer is coming. This is where Ataliah comes in and says before it becomes big, before it becomes profound, before it becomes something, let me stop it. Let me extinguish the fire. Let me wipe it off. That's the spirit of Herod. He targets what is small. Kabbalashaya. So that he will not see the light of the day. But I know there are warriors here who says I did not finish praying for Ataliah to spoil it. I did not finish the vigil of destiny for a hero to mess it up. Somebody raise your voice. Can you turn the Ataliah? Can you shout fire? Can you shout hero? Can you shout fire? Turn the Ataliah. Fire. Can you shout hero? Shout fire. If you believe it, turn the fire. Turn the fire. Turn the fire. Turn the fire. Listen. I want you to understand that by the next verse, by the next verse, the Bible says, and when Herod died, and when Herod died, the Bible says, and the angel of the Lord, and the angel of the Lord, Appeared unto Joseph when people of God when Herod died, the Bible says an angel of the Lord appeared in a dream to Joseph in Egypt. People of God, I am afraid to announce this to you. If Herod does not die, there are appearances that will never come. If Herod does not die, there are next dimensions you will never see. 
Hallelujah. If Herod does not die, Hakora Shaddai, Hallelujah, there are new levels that will not be open. If Herod does not die, I know that you're a good man, but I want to let you know to every great destiny, a Herod is assigned to you. Oh, Pastor, I don't have any Herod around me. Let me inform you the only thing that brought your Herod is the greatness that you carry. Is the greatness that you carry. If you are unaware, if you are sleeping while your Herod is awake, I am afraid they will hijack this light that the Lord has put in the inside of you. But if you feel like you have a great destiny, if you feel like there's something that you carry, if you know that there is something in your inner man that is screaming for a new season, rise on your feet, lift up your right hand with a loud voice. Can you turn the Herod? I didn't hear you. Turn the Herod. Can you shout down? Can you turn the Herod? Herod. 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 Today, any Herod around my life, around my family, around my children, what are you doing right now? Fire, 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 fire. Let your amen turn the louder. Take your seat for one second. Look at your neighbor and announce to your neighbor So Herod is dead I came to let you know If you are carrying something People of God Make sure that you have extinguished Herod Because while you are there saying Pastor I'm going to guard it When it becomes big The spirit of Herod searches for them When they are small The spirit of Herod Never attacks harvests the spirit of Herod looks for seeds. The spirit of Herod never goes for manifestation. The spirit of Herod goes for potential. Yes, sir. The spirit of Herod is not bored. No, no, no. That one is left for Jezebel and the rest of them. But the spirit of Herod, when, because at that place, you still don't know that he holds a potential. The spirit of Herod will make you careless about your husband that you have prayed about when he greets you but that's what you spend time praying about how come that when he came because he doesn't look like it you don't think like this man can marry me this man can be interested in me so you just threw in a word people of God because you never paid attention that Herod is always looking for it when it is insignificant somebody shout Herod Herod. Shout it again, shout fire. fire. Can you thunder it again? Say Herod. Herod. Can you thunder it again and shout fire? fire? Can you thunder it again and say Herod? Herod. Can you shout it again? Say fire. fire. Can you shout it again? Say Herod. Herod. Can you shout it again? Fire. fire. Let your amen thunder louder. Hey, hey. And people of God, allow me to address one more issue. And the bottle sat higher. And I'll be getting ready to tidy up. I want you to understand that the Bible says the voice of lamentation was heard in Ramah. Weeping, lamentation, ongoing. Because Kadi, this girl, this lady, Rachel, could not be comforted because of her children. Kobalan, they say. She did not lose one. She lost her children. She did not lose one. People of God, that means if what Herod went for is from two years down, that means if she lost two, two children, that means she obviously lost two and one or two or something lower than one. And people of God, that's exactly what she lost. There was back-to-back -back evil. But then again, after this vigil of destiny, anything that represents back-to-back -back disappointment, back-to-back -back shame, back-to-back -back disfavor, at the sound of your amen, I announce they are reversed by fire. Like a flash in my eyes, 
I see the Lord say to me, I'm dropping something that was not there in their hands. Amen. Whatever you have been waiting for, please stretch forth your two hands towards me. Whatever that you have been waiting for that was formerly not in your hands, that was formerly not in your hands, at the sound of your amen, I decree and declare, let the Lord place it in your hands right now. Let the Lord place it in your hands. Let the Lord place it in your hands. Let the Lord place it in your hands right now. Rhino, 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 let your amen turn the louder. Take your seat for one second. And people of God, and this is how Rachel began to mourn. And I'm sure that every Bible student here will understand the meaning of Ramah. Can be called a hill it can be called a mountain and people of god the bible says richard was crying permit me to say on the hill a voice of lamentation was being heard on the hill a voice of lamentation was being heard people of god you know that when you are on a hill you are a little more visible than others Shabaradiasa. people of god the voice of lamentation was heard as soon as Rachel found herself on the hill Kebaradasha, she didn't cry when she was in the valley it was when she got up to the hill that tears began to come Shabade Laba. She has just thanked God for bringing her to a place of visibility. Next thing is that she begins to cry on the mountain. She begins to weep. Some of you can find yourself already say, Pastor, I can identify with Rachel. I'm on a hill, but there are tears in my eyes. I'm on a hill that people are clapping for me for but there are tears in my eyes it was meant to be a blessing but how did I come to this hill and I began to cry it was supposed to have brought me joy how did I come to this hill and all I am doing is just to weep how did Koran say if this sounds like your story I join my faith with the faith of the men of God over this assembly I announce to you every bitter tears every tears you're shedding on the hill in the next five days in the next five days let a mighty testimony come out of it let a mighty testimony come out of it right now 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 let your amen turn now let your amen rise let your amen rise let your amen rise let your amen rise take your seat for one second and this is me getting ready to tidy up jeremiah the scripture that brother matthew pointed out jeremiah had told us after this prophecy he says refrain thy voice for crying because these things that look like they have been killed and murdered they are coming back you see it makes more sense and it becomes a little bit unbelievable when you put this scripture in proper context of the Matthew's account. Excuse me, sir. Did you say that my children who have been murdered, they are coming back? Oh my God. Did you say that these things I thought I lost, that they are coming back? Did you say that all the opportunities that I thought I lost, that they are coming back. He says, refrain thy voice from crying. Don't cry anymore. I saw what Herod did, but Herod has got nothing on you. I saw the things that happened. He said, but listen, the things you thought you lost, your health that's been under attack, that's why you are here today. The issues that went awry in your life, the things are part of like, You are wondering what happened to me. As you rise on your feet and your two hands are lifted to God, I announce whatever you thought you lost, let there be a restoration. Hey, hey. 
that the amen is too weak and the amen is too weak I announce let there be a restoration oh, no. your health is restored oh, no. your finances are restored oh, no. your family is restored oh, no. your children are restored oh, no. right now oh, no. right now 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 let your amen turn the louder wherever you are right now lift up your right hand and can you turn that say now is my time i need you to shout and say now is my time we are going to do something prophetic say right now whatsoever that is in my body that is in my spirit that is in my soul that is not of god say any sickness any disease any affliction in my body that is not of god God. Say what are you Lord, doing Lord, in my body? Lord, Say right now. Lord, I shake it off. 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 Fall 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 off. Open your mouth. Shake Check it off, check it off, check it off. A pacata, a shepherd, a pacata, a rabbasada, a shepherd, a parada, a shepherd, a cotola, a shepherd, a revenue, a corosa, a lebede, a sate, a revenue, a caparadasha, a paradasa, racoto, a revisa, a palada, a catole, a rasa. I shall have a remedice, a cotton, for love, for love, for love, a cup, a shakade, a rasade, a lavadece, a shabada, a pataka, a rasiba, a cotton, a remedy, a sante, a remedy, a comasha, a remedy, a sante, a cotton, a remedy, let your aim and turn the louder. I announce. Fall off, fall off, fall off, fall off, fall off, fall off, fall off. Let your aim and thunder. Right now, I command any lump in any part of your body by the power that raised Jesus from the dead, lump in the breast lumps in your scrotal sac wherever there is any lump in any part of your body i command let it disappear right now hey, hey. there's a small child i see that it looks like that child has there's been something strong in that stomach specifically on the left side of that stomach Kaboro Shadaba, you've not gone to the hospital. You've been afraid. You've been afraid. You've been afraid. It's very thick, like a cement on the left side. You've been afraid of going to the hospital. Shabada Yaborosia, Padabasia. Check that child again. Check that child again. For it is no longer there. Amen. It is no longer there. Amen. Kabalindo Roshande Balabaraka, Ali Barabasinde Borokosha, Arabali Asadea. Your knees are locked. You can't even bend your knees this way. You were not able to. But the Spirit of God said, look, look at that knees again. Move those knees. You can move them. You can move them. Because the healing power of God has just come upon those knees. The healing power of God just come upon those knees right now. The healing power of God just come upon those knees right now. Right now. Eremeno shakadaba, arebe de korosondere, eshebe de korasante, erebe de basudaya, erebe le berosodea, eshebe de korosa. Whatever that is happening, araba la bara bosedea, apala kana in your spine, giving you a sharp pain in your waist, giving you a sharp pain in your waist. By the power that raised Jesus from the dead, I announce, let it be reversed right now. 
again I announce for every blind eye open right now every deaf ear open right now I say open right now every dumb mouth open right now I say open right now I say open right now I don't know who you are but you can hear me right now you are careful of the way you carry your shoulder because there's a way you would do it and it will go be like your shoulder went out of alignment your shoulder went out of alignment the spirit of God said try it right now try it right now that shoulder has been properly fixed by the Lord that shoulder has been properly fixed by the Lord out of over the past six months you have been bleeding non-stop you can use that anywhere use the toilet and check that bleeding just got terminated that bleeding just got terminated right now right now right now right now right now kapara subane i command whatever that is not of god let them fall off right now kapara bashane anybody that was brought in here mentally sick by the power that raised jesus from the dead let every mental Amen. This is a new thing to happen right now. The Lord causes a new thing to happen. Let your amen turn the louder. Whether there be afflictions or infirmities or diseases, on the sound of your amen, you will not return home with it. You will not return home with it. For he, the Son of Man, has set free. He's already free indeed. I command, let them drop off. Let them drop off. Let them drop off. Let them drop off. Them drop off. Every low vision drop off. Every hypertension drop off. Every diabetes drop off. Let your amen turn down. I announce that you are no longer where you were. And I decree Kalebaro Shadeba, Alebaro Sin de Lebaro Shadaka, Alibana Sada, Karadabasa, every growth in your throat right in the inside of your throat at the sound of your amen I announce let it be reversed right now 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 let your amen turn down and I announce every heart enlargement let it give way right now let it give way right now let it give way right now let your amen turn down I announce the season of your increase has come if your amen will thunder louder hear me where you were before this meeting is no longer where you are light is already shining 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 let your amen turn down I announce every member of your family because you are here because you are here any member of your family under any form of oppression because you are here on the sound of your amen let them receive their deliverance let them receive their deliverance right now 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 let your amen turn down and i announce nothing will escape the healing power of god amen. right now please go ahead Help me check yourself. Check whatever it looks like an ailment that was in your body. Check yourself. If it's your eyes, 
If you came in with a blind person, a deaf person, a dumb person, help me check them. Check yourself. Check where there is something and the thing is no longer there. Check yourself. Check yourself. Check yourself. For his words were not returned back unto him void without accomplishing that for it which was sent. Check yourself. Check yourself. While you remain standing, while you all remain standing, if you know that you had a healing, there's something that used to be there that's no longer there. I'm not saying by faith. I'm not saying by faith. You knew there was something you came in here with and it's no longer there. Can you wave your hands? Can you wave your hands? And you're saying, Pastor, there's been a... Wave it very well. I want to see your hands. If you know that... You've, you've, you received the healing. You received the healing here. You received the healing. Wave it. I want to see your hands very well. Wave it. Whether you are inside or outside, you know you received healing. Check that lump. Check that lump. Check the waist. Check the open wound. Check it. Check it very well. Check it very well. And it's no longer there. It's no longer. Wave it. Wave it wherever you are. Inside, outside. Let your hands. Let Jesus see your hands. Let Jesus see your hands. Let Jesus see your hands. Caparodo Shana. Can the rest of us, can we celebrate? the Lord can we celebrate 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 the Lord and I announce what the Lord has done is permanent and the Spirit of God said to me to address if you came here with any terminal disease whether it's cancer or HIV, anything at all, they will say, they said to you, you will manage for the rest of your life. Any autoimmune disease at the sound of your amen, I command, let them be reversed right now. Hey, hey, when you go back to check what they saw before, they will not be able to see it again. Hey, hey, let your amen confound the gates of hell. Let your amen rise. Let your amen rise. I am led to pray this prayer. Financial doors you have never seen. Money that your hands have not carried. Since you were born. In the next 21 days. At the sound of your amen. Let it enter your hands. 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 I wish your amen would turn up 14 times. Can you lift your hands everywhere? Stand to your Are you sitting down? Ah. Stand to your feet. Lift your two hands everywhere. <laughs> what we waited for. Has come to see. Now listen to me, hear me now. I want you to sing that song in thanksgiving as if you are holding that money in your hand. As if your wedding ring is already in the hand. As if your doctor's report is in your hand. I want you to sing it with the biggest meaning you have ever had in a song before. Come on, everywhere. If you want to lie down, kneel down, roll on the floor, worship as if you have seen your answer because something is about to happen. Oh, see what the Lord has done.
has come to be. This is the last time. Just lift up your two hands and mention the things you are thanking God for. Thank Him directly. Lord, I thank you for my wedding on the 17th of November. Lord, I thank you for my baby that is born. April. Open your mouth. Thank him for your job. of you here that need to drop a seed, a sacrifice, an offering. If your own is 250, 100, 50, 20, or 10, please come to the altar right now. You, have a, you want to give a sacrifice, and you're going to drop it within one week of today. And you're saying, Lord, this is my seed into the word spoken today. Move to the altar now. You are giving 250, 100, 50, 10, 20. Please walk to the altar. That's your sacrifice to connect to every word spoken today. Please move now. You are inside, you are outside, you are far, you are near. 250, 100, 50, 20, and 10. Move to the altar quickly. I'm giving you one last chance. Move fast. You give to your level. You give at the level God has blessed you and at the level you're expecting. 250, 100, 50, 20, and 10. Move quickly. You know more than you are behaving. You know better than not to miss this moment. You know better than not to miss this moment. Young lady, you know better than you are behaving. You know better than you are behaving. You know not to miss this moment for your wedding. You know not to miss this moment for your baby. You know not to miss this moment for your, for your next level. You are giving 250, you are giving 100, you are giving 50, you are giving 20 or 10. Come to the altar right now. You know enough not to miss this moment. You are outside. You are far. You know more than you are behaving. You are behaving. You know more than what you are behaving. Was spoken now, you know enough to be on the altar. You will not be waiting for a child by this time next year. You will not be yet to be married by this time next year. Your visa must be with you. You must be traveled by this time next year. The testimony must be delivered. 
Your house must be built. Your ministry must enlarge. You know better than you are behaving. in the face of men. And he's the one that makes sure the words of his men don't fall to the ground. There are words that can never fall to the ground. And the words spoken here today will never fall to the ground. You don't need to close your eyes. Just look at me. This is called the altar of mercy. You don't have to qualify. Mercy qualifies you. Listen to me. I don't know what you are believing for but that seed must have a name what is the name of your seed this is July 2023 Jesus starring will be here by this time next year it will never be said that you came off a baby and you didn't carry it never be said you came out standing to get where that didn't went your visa didn't come your job didn't come your breakthrough didn't come any one of you that stands here now and makes a sacrifice based on the word spoken today because every covenant is ratified by sacrifice as you do that those of you that are far please try your best get closer to the altar try your best give them chance to come if you are outside you are far anywhere move listen our aim is not to get money. Our aim is to make sure that you don't lose your testimony. I want to please listen. I explain this to those of you that, were in gate, that are in gateway. Anywhere you go on this earth, those of you that came from villages, and I say this guy, his altar is very powerful. He's a big tradition, traditional worshiper. And you go to that altar. And you are the poorest woman in that village. If you don't bring even a one day old chicken and drop on that altar, that altar won't work for you. Any altar you get to and you are looking for help, there must be something dropped on that altar. This is the altar of mercy. We have stood here before the Lord to make sure you find help. Will you walk out without help? That's a question you should ask yourself. So lift your two hands. Now on the authority of Jesus. Help that person, help that person. But I command. Whatever is needed to bring your manifestation. Come from the east. Come from the west. Come from the north. Amen. Come from the south. Amen. Any man needed. 
any government needed, any agency needed, anything needed, let it enter your life now in the name of Jesus. Let the police catalash. The days of delayed and denied expectations have ended. Through many years, your hopes were raised and dashed. Through many years, you believed and never saw result. But I stand here today on the altar of God's mercy. And I declare over you, your expectation will never be cut off again. Your desire will never die again. I stand on the mantle of his power. And I decree, within the next 70 days, help that man, help that man. Can I have my water? Can I don't shall have that lady? But tell her go by a catalano shaha. Barato kepericota. Yang da 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 da. Meto ponta la catiada. Jikape etrabaha. Whatever it takes to water your destiny, let it happen for you. Let it happen for you. Madena no shaha. Whatever it is, shataha. Barate shaha or shall send them. Matolobo shaha. Whatever it takes to water your destiny, let it happen in your life. Matolo shahia. Barat. To her, sharp parata, a pair of Tohasha, a cacacacacaca, a pratola mosha, whatever it is, what are your destiny? Let it happen in your life, let it happen in your life. Madonna Dosha, somebody help the heaven. I release your glory. Hey, 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 Shabotaha, in Takoto Lobotaha, and Gratete Kapasha, Pale Prasho Hatanaba. Let it come for you. 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 Whatever it takes to water destiny, let it come in. Yes, 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 yes. Please, if your own is 5,000, join them. That's the least I will ask. If your own is 5,000, please stand up and join them. That's the least I'm going to ask anybody to give. This is the altar of mercy. Can you stand up and join them if you want to be part of this? Lift up your hand. Father, I pray. If you are joining now, lift up your hand anywhere you are. Father, I pray. If you are giving 5,000, that's the least we are asking. Get up and join them. Did you hear the English? That's what we said. I decree in the name that's above every name. You have quick results. 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 I know some of you have given before, but there's some of you who are sitting now who have not. Don't look at the person beside who have given and think you're the same level. Give 5,000, that's the least we can ask you. And then get up and trust the Lord. Father, I ask you that each person connected to this now come within this 70-day seven day dispensation of grace. Amen. That within 70 days, everything we have spoken and prophesied will begin to manifest in their life. Amen. Give us evidence that we shut the mouth of mockery. Amen. People have called this a scam. Raise men and women that will be the evidence that it's not a scam. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. It is done. Amen. Please take your phone, take a picture of the account number if you don't have it. And go now and give to the level of your faith and your expectation. Do that immediately. Transfer it now. Transfer it now. Don't wait until Sunday. But if the worst, you do by Sunday. Do that right now. Now, we're going to do two things before we close. The first thing we're going to do is going to do some dancing. Second thing we're going to do is I'm going to move around, pray and prophesy over a few persons, and then after that, we'll receive our 
new converts and the service will be ending. So, musicians, we're going to take some serious dancing. After that, I'll come back again. Please make sure the account number is visible and not put it on the screen so they can see it. Pick it up, take the picture, and make sure you get it all done as we are closing right now. We are trusting the Lord. In the next few days, the building project will start and we'll be able to get this done. Can I hear your amen? amen? If we don't have the resources, we don't have a promise of finishing it, but God will provide. Will he provide? Yes. Huh? Yes. I, will he provide? Yes. Can you imagine your church paying for this place by February, January, February, and building in April and it's here, and we didn't have any money raising program in church for it. Give the Lord a beautiful clap offering for that. Radio going on, TV going on, everything moving on. God is faithful. If you made a vow before now and you needed to drop it on the altar, can you drop it on the altar? And raise up the prayer request you made for that vow. If you did before now, you have something you are giving, you need to drop on the altar, drop it now. If there's a request you have for it, lift it up to the Lord. We trust the Lord. I speak over every one of you that the expectation is commanded. Amen. Lift up that point of contact. Leko Banakapia and Brokosaha. Jigabala Broko Traboskia. There are things you can with today. Is that not so? Lift it up now. In the name that's above every name. Let there be immediate testimonies. Amen. Your answers are commanded. Amen. Shout amen like you're a force. Amen. Please don't forget. We want to celebrate. And those of you who are already tired, please, young people, married women, this is not the time to leave. They are still in security in some parts of Port Harcourt. Is that true? One of the things I keep saying to myself is Satan is not my friend. So I don't put my leg where he can get to me. I'm very meticulous about that. He's not my friend. I don't put myself where he can get to me. So if you are thinking of going now, say, young girl, stay back. If you are thinking of living here now, say, young man, stay back. If they pick you up by police, now your family will pay money to bring you out, even if nobody arrested you. So stay back until about 5, 5.30, then you can safely go or 6 o'clock. A married woman living here now to go home, no matter how close your house is, you are taking a risk that is stupid. What I'm saying, is that true? Please don't do that. It's not faith, it's foolishness. So calm down, they are sitting security. Don't waste on that. They're going to take us on some dance. After that, I'll come back and then pray with you. And then we go. Somebody rise to your feet and give the Lord a shout. Do you know the God we serve is a mighty God? Do you know the God we serve is a great, great God? Do you know the God we serve is a mighty God? Do you know the cup of service I pray? Do you know, do you know the cup of service I pray? Oh, yo, yo.
an instruction any one of you that came with anything that's a medical report drop it on the floor while we are dancing just drop it on the altar floor while we are dancing continue singing hey whatever you will serve anointing whatever you will serve anointing whatever you will serve a flavor whatever you will serve a blessing
watching others? Are you just watching others? faith if you can. Can I ask you a question? Amen. Can I ask you a question? Have you been blessed in the vigils? He's celebrating his next level. Have you been blessed in the vigils? Give the Lord a clap. Once again, we honor everyone that has come from far and near for this vigil. We thank you for being part of making this work. And we believe, God, that your life will never be the same again. Amen. Please stand to your feet. If you are here in this building and you have arthritis in your leg, I don't care how long that, I didn't say if you think, diagnose, doctor told you you have arthritis. Not if your mother has in the village, you that is here. If you have that issue, walk down to the altar. And even if you can't climb anywhere before, go to that place and climb it. Walk from there, walk across at my back and pass through this place. If in the next one week you go for test, you will never see arthritis again. Amen. Just worship as they take that. God is a miracle. Lord. As you go, stand there. As you come down, stand there. God is a glory. Don't help anybody God. as I walk in the hill. God is. Now begin to move your leg to what you can do. As you come down, begin to do what you can do. God the stiffness goes. If anyone is coming with any stick, as you are passing, you are getting healed. Protocol, just stand there. 
Glorious God. Yes, my God. Do what you can do. He's a miracle. A miracle worker. He does amazing things. He just do it seven times. Don't force yourself. Just do it seven times. You can do seven yes, times. Yes, my God. Do seven is times. He's a glorious God. Yes, God. God is. Yes, miracle, miracle, miracle. My God. Just do what you can do seven times. That's all. Do seven times. Jesus Christ. I know you hear my voice. And these bodies are kingdom territory. You have no right to be in them. I command you now. Come out of their legs. Come out of their hands. Come out of their joints. What the doctor saw, they will see again. As you get down, do what you couldn't do before seven times. If you can confirm, not if you think, not if you want to, but if you can confirm that something shifted from you and left you climb back up now. If you can confirm that what you came with, you can't see it again. Climb back up. I want you to come up here. You check yourself. You can confirm. You can't feel it again. Climb back up here. I want to see you. Be very fast. Do what you can do. You confirm he left you. Walk up back again. Miracle walker. Just do it seven times. Miracle if you change and he's not there, climb back up again. So that God can make it permanent in your life. Go quickly. If you check, it's not there, climb back up again. Your second touch is a permanent. If you check, it's not there. Climb back up again. If you do it and they are stuck, move back up. If you check yourself, the pen is gone. Climb up again. You have one minute. You have one minute. 
Can I have the doctors? If you check yourself, you can't. Your knee is healed. Your back is straightened. The pain is gone. Stand there. Father, I pray for every one of them. That from tonight, the yoke is broken never to return. Amen. I cast the root of your infirmity. Amen. And I decree right now, pain go and never return. Amen. Bones be fixed back. Amen. Everything. If you check yourself, you confirm that something happened. Move your something you, while you are watching. Something walked out of your body. You feel light on your knee, light on your hand. Move over there. Yes. Let me. Let me. Let me get the ones you can confirm that something happened to them quickly. Stand there. Where's the microphone? Yes. Pastor, this is that sister Sunday. This is the test result she came with. For you came with this. Yes. For rheumatoid arthritis. It's rheumatoid arthritis. Yes. When did you start seeing that? It's three years now. For three years now? Yes, sir. So how do you know you are healed now? When I was clamping the step for Put the it first time. Put it close to Can we have another microphone that's okay? Yes? When I was clamping the step for yeah. the first time, pains here and this my hand. Then when I was returning, I, I was now bouncing. I didn't see the pains here again. Are you just keeping quiet? Give the Lord a clap and a shout. Those here, why I asked you to stay is because, listen, while they're testifying, you are taking your own portion. Just believe God. The same God is rich toward you. Walk down toward me. Come. In the name of Jesus, it is permanent. Never again. Yes, quickly. My name is Prosper Yai. Can we have a microphone that can speak well? My name is Prosper Yai. For the past two years, I've been seeking this arthritis. My leg is paining me, but I was, I was clamping up. I was feeling light on my leg now. When you climb up, you can feel light on your leg. Now walk down toward me never again. I command that you're broken in Jesus' name. Yes, what happened? My name is Prince Daniel. I'm a sports person. Since eight months, I always notice the arthritis on my right leg. So because of that, I stopped doing anything sports. But while you pray, I fell under the anointing, and I couldn't feel it any longer. How do you know it's gone? Because I can't even bend. Eh? Whenever I want to bend, it looks as if my leg hanged. Your leg used to hang. Yes. Can you do what you couldn't do now? And it's not there. Can somebody give the Lord a better clap? Of stand up and back. Yes, next person. My name is Daniel. Okay, for some time now, so many years ago, I Please normally have I this have heaviness on my left that leg. Can speak well. Where's the microphone Pastor Jerry used? I normally have this heaviness on my left leg. It comes seasonally. But when Papa was saying you should do what you could not do before, I feel the heaviness on my leg. I couldn't feel it anymore. The heaviness has gone. Yes. Somebody give the Lord a clap offering. You stand over there. Yes, what happened to you? Use the microphone that's speaking clearly. My name is, is Olalikan Abiodun. For the past five years now, I've been having one pain in my legs there but when i walk past this altar it went out went out you have what tried to utter the pain left you yeah, give yeah. the lord a clap of him yes next person oh, sorry i'm Ngozi. for almost two years now i can't squat, but as i climb now i can't squat. for almost two years yes. you can't squat yes can you do that name. now and no pain Give the Lord a better clap. Walk over there, you are healed. Yes, what happened to her? My name is uh, Sister Grace Abel. For three years now, I can't squat too well. At times when I wanted to cross low, my, my leg will hang. But now I can squat and the heaviness is no more. The heaviness is not there. Are you keeping quiet? Give the Lord a better clap. While they are doing that, do your own. Your healing is being delivered. The same God is ritual. Yes, what happened to you? My name is Tina Abigo. This evening when I came for the meeting, I was having pain, serious pains. I was even thinking of taking medicine. Just hold myself. But the moment have I you claimed, been having a tried this yes, before? Yes, sir. For how long? For almost two years now. Almost two years. Yes, sir. And you came in pain. Yes. And I what happened now? Huh? The moment I climbed the altar, I discovered that there is no pain again. Then I climbed the second one. I can climb the staircase now, no problem. Can you go and climb that? Let's see. Walk over there, let them see your clap. Somebody give the Lord a beautiful clap offering. 
If you are not clapping, you are not receiving your own. When we say thank you, he says what? Now climb back up boldly. Climb back up again. Somebody give the Lord a clap offering. It will never repeat again. Yes, what happened to you? Sister Benedita, I for five years, also have arthritis on both knees. So she cannot bend, she cannot do anything. But while she walked through the altar, she's climbing back. Seven times. Huh? So she was able to bend seven times and now the pain is You were able gone. to bend seven times, no pain. Can you do it again? Let them see. And you can't feel it again. Are you just keeping quiet? Give the Lord a clap. Why that they are receive your own in the name of Jesus? The spirit of arthritis, get out of your body in the name of Jesus. My name is Nenna somewhere. My own arthritis in my leg. Huh? My knee. Arthritis. What happened to your knee? Arthritis. Sir. You had arthritis on your knee? Yes. How do you know you're healed? Sir, I, I, before I can't go down like this. You but couldn't do that before. At all. But you can do it now. Yes. And no pain. Yes. If you are giving Jesus a clap, give him a better clap of it. Get back over there. Yes. What's the next person? My name is Rachel. When I went to hospital because of news, but they say I have arthritis. I've been taking drugs. When I go back to the doctor, doctor said I will manage it. But uh, the only pain I have, we, we, I can't bend down and do anything. But as I walk around the altar now, I can bend. You can't feel that again. They say they are going to manage. You lift up your right hand. Whatever they gave you to manage, I command it to get out now in the name of Jesus. Hey, hey. You won't manage diabetes. Hey, hey. You won't. If you're here, you have high blood pressure. Stand on your feet. They said you have diabetes. Stand on your feet. I stand on authority of the Lord Jesus Christ, and I declare you won't manage that sickness. Hey, hey. I command high blood pressure. Get out in the name of Jesus. I command diabetes. Get out in the name of I command you be here now in the name of Jesus Christ. If you shout amen, let your own be confirmed. Yes, what happened to you? My is waste. When I sit down to stand up, I find it difficult. When you sit down to stand up, it's a problem. And then the when I sit down to I find it, but when I stand up, I feel free. So what now happened now? I'm released. How do you know? I, 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 I can do now. It's no longer pain in me. And so I stood up. And do you believe that something went to you? Can we have microphone that works? In May, she was diagnosed of arthritis on her left leg. Check yourself. If you confirm it's not there, walk up here. Now, diagnosed with arthritis on, on the your left, left leg. leg. Yes. And it was as if the, the, the knee was locked. As if the knee was, was locked. locked. She has gone for massage to no avail. What, what, what you couldn't, she couldn't what do you mean by it's locked? She couldn't bend it like this. You couldn't bend it? Yes. Since May? Since May, yes. And when you said this walk, she tried, she struggled to walk, but as she was walking, she was, it, the knee was loosening, and now she can perfectly squat. Can you do the that again? Gone. If you are here, give the Lord a better clap of it. Never again. What happened to you? I'm a Nancy. For over five years, I've been suffering from arthritis. My mom also is suffering from it. But as she told us to walk past the altar, before I can't squat, I can't bend my leg. But now I can't. I can't. Keep the Lord a better clap of it. Your mother be healed also. Praise yes. God. My name is Sasha Sifani Chuku. I started observing this arthritis since 2019. I spent a lot of money because when I try to squat, I have to try to lay my hands on something. Can but you now, squat now? Oh yeah, I can. And you're not feeling pain? You are free on your knee? Okay. Give the Lord a better clap of rain. Never again. What happened to you? Yeah. And you are orthopedic doctor said what? I do operation or I manage it. I do operation. If I don't do it. Are you just keeping quiet? Give the Lord a clap and a shout. Never again in your life. Yes, what happened? My name is Jesse Ede. In fact, in May, I was admitted at Bethesda Hospital because I could not bend my knees. I had to be lifted up out of bed. But now I can squat on my own. Can you give the Lord a better clap of ring? Yes, what happened to you? Never again. My name is Christian Asunde. For almost two years now, I cannot turn my waist. I cannot squat down. I cannot dance well, but today I can squat down, squat down, and dance. Are you guys okay? Give Jesus a clap and a shout. 
there is a reason we are doing what we are doing. It's so that Satan can be put to shame. This number of people that are walking out of here now, no more drugs, no more pain, Amen. no more suffering. Amen. Can you give the Lord a better clap offering for that? Yes, what did Jesus do? Praise the Lord. I thank God for healing me. Before I cannot squat, but now I can. Were you diagnosed with arthritis? Uh, they, I used to have serious pain, but I have not had a cater with a uh, doctor. Okay. The Lord has healed you. Amen. Yes, next one quickly. Praise the Lord. My name is Gladys Adela. Since two years now, I've been suffering for arthritis. If I don't take medicine, I know if you walk, I know if you stand. If but you don't this, take medicine, you I, can't stand I and you can't, can't walk. Yes, sir. But this evening, as a prayer is going on, I can stand, I can shake my body, I can dance, I can kneel down. From today, never again. Amen. Yes, what happened to you? Praise the Lord. My name is Mesa Omar Gladys. For almost over a year now, I feel pains on my joints and my, my ankles. And when I bend down to get up, it will be a problem. But when I came here, I was still feeling the pains. But since the sun was to start with seeking to do what we cannot do. So when I'm doing it, the pain disappear. Give the Lord a beautiful clap of yes. What happened to you? Very fast, very fast. We have just a few minutes. Okay, sir. Praise the Lord. My name is Mrs. Angela Onyige. I've been having pains, waist pain, even my knees. Of which, if I'm climbing step, I will be climbing one leg like this. I ran when I was climbing up now. After Can you do that again? Place. Let them see. Show us how you used to climb before and then do the second one. Go down first and then show us how you used to climb up. How we, how, how, what was it like before? You will hold that and be moving your leg one by one. Okay, now show us what you can do now. If you are just the Akanaesha power. Oh. Praise the Lord. It did not end there. Since I started coming this uh, on the night, night in jail, I've been having a BP. But since I started coming, I have not taken medicine for one day. Since this assignment was completed, see now I have not taken BP. Have medicine. you checked your BP? Yes, it's normal. And it's normal. Yes, sir. Are you just keeping quiet? Keep the Lord a shout. Never again. Yes, what happened? Praise the Lord. My name is Princess Chedema. For over seven years, I've been having this serious pain, like as if it's coming from my bone marrow inside. Pain as if from your bone marrow. Inside, very severe. But when you said we should come out, I came out. And actually, my faith was not really that strong, but I just came out. I was just believing God. I was still standing there checking. But I discovered that it's gone. It's no longer, I'm not feeling Even when I was sitting there, I was feeling it. Then another thing also, when I came in today, I was, I have, since yesterday, I noticed my, one of my, this, my, my right hand side, eyes was paining me, seriously. I even went to the pharmacy today, they prescribed drug and gave me an eye drop. I discovered that when I climbed the altar and came down, I discovered that the pain is gone. Praise God. Can you, this is the altar of mercy. If you climb, you find mercy. Yes, what happened to you? Hallelujah. My name is Lady Sophia Ibiye Mark Allison. I was having this kind of, a kind of, um, I don't know if I can describe, but they said it's arthritis. It's just like cold. At the two sides of my laps. Like I, what? It's just like cold. Sometimes it drags me. I can't move my leg. Before I raise it up, it will take me time. So I took drugs early this year, but I just believe God, I'm, I'm not a drug type of person. So when this case was mentioned, I had to come and I was praying and say, Lord, I don't want to go back like this. This pain must leave me. I put cold from my head down. When I went down, I was going, I said, I want to shake myself. I stood, I was moving around. I felt this cold that there's absolutely nothing like pain. I was just light in me. Will you be able to give Jesus a better clap offering? That's how miracles happen. You are free forever. Yes, what happened to you? Praise God. I am Grace Angry. Uh, I came in here last year. I had um, a, a fatal ac accident here before last. And I was told I had 
uh, arthritis developed. And, um, you had an accident but right that impacted on your bone. Yes. So arthritis then, developed by it. Yes. Okay. And uh, I can't, I can't fold my right leg. You can't fold your right leg. Yes. From that accident. Yes. Yesterday night, I, I saw a boil, something like a boil, while I was praying, following the altar of mercy. But then I came here today. This, Yesterday I mean, night, you saw something like what? Are they, are they, are they, I followed, I've been following the prayers okay, in you, our branch, yeah, you but saw, I decided to be here today. You say you saw what? Something like a boil at the back a of A boil? Yes. At the back of your leg? Yes. Okay. I couldn't even fold it, but I determined to be here. So what happened So when now? I came in here and prayer started, prayer started, I came back, I heard that if you had arthritis, then I came out. So when I did that, and you said squat for seven times. I tried to do that, it would not. But all I was trying to gain was to get this, to get my leg back. But I can do it now, back. I can do it now, back. And I can't find Since the, the accident, you can't fold your leg. I can, no, I can, but not very well. But right now, that boy, I can't The find boy it. also has disappeared. That boy. Are you just keeping quiet? Keep the Lord a beautiful clap of it, never again. Yes, what happened to you? Praise the Lord. I'm living to the very. I've been experiencing this rheumatism for long because my mom had it for long. Rheumatism? Yes. Each time rain is falling, I cannot... Each time yes. rain yes. is falling? My hand will be stiff. Your hand will be stiff. Yes. Okay. So when you mentioned the case, so I came out, I climbed the altar, I was standing there. So why others are testifying, you were saying, even as you're standing here, you can receive yours. I was squatting and standing and doing my hands. Now I can't find the pain. The pain is gone from the hand. The yes, stiffness sir. is gone. Yes. If you give Jesus a clap, will you, will you not get a miracle? Come on, give me a clap and take your own miracle. It's done. What is wrong with them? What is wrong with them? What is wrong? Is there a testimony? Okay, what is going on there? What is going on? I, I normally have monthly waist pain. My name is Nicholas Esther. I normally have waist pain. Monthly waist pain, but I want to... Monthly? To, yes. For year, over years now. But when, the, the, this one started just yesterday. So when I, as I was coming now, when the altar call was on, as I was coming, I started receiving my healing. So the pains have disappeared right now. Give the Lord a better clap of and never again will he come. Every other person, lift up your hands. Mighty God, we say thank you. I pray over them. They've seen others testify. As I'm going home right now, let their own healing be perfected. Amen. <laughs> There are some of you who have not been able to stand for a long time. You've been standing since I was talking. Who is the person I'm talking about? That means that something is happening in your body. I command the yoke, break forever Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Get back into your seat. Everybody that can stand, stand to your feet. Father, I cover every life with the blood of Jesus. Blood of Jesus Christ. You won't die by this time next year. Amen. Amen. Everything calling you to the grave, I command that thing to be cut off from you now. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I perceive that you are tired and that you don't want to be ministered to. So instead of forcing a ministration upon you, I'm going to allow you rest so that even if you go home with your problem, there's no challenge. You can have it another time. We can minister another time. You can go home with the problem today. Can you lift up your hands and say, Jesus? Jesus. I came for you. I came for you. Lift your hand and say, Jesus. Jesus. I came for you. I came for you. And tonight. And tonight. I decide. I decide. To have. To have. My evidence. My evidence. Forget the rain. The rain is over. I told you there will be no rain. We finished our program. Huh? Yeah. So, calm down. Thank you, Father. Help her. Thank you, Father. Lift your hands. Jatola kapala gabrahi katolata. 
Embrakatarabuskia. Lift up your hand, lift up your hand, lift up your hand, lift up your hand. Nashokataha. Le embrakatarabuskia taha. Madaka korakatianga bala brokotora. Leto lakapa. There's a husband that lost the job more than four years ago. The wife has been struggling and taking care of the family. Where is the person? Stand up. Give me your hand. In a name that's above every name, God has remembered you. And your family is going to have the mercy of God. Amen. In a few days, he's restored. Amen. Lift up your hand. I see three sisters. None of them is married. One is here. One is Nabuja. One is uh, on the way now, going somewhere in the west. If even on the night bus, going somewhere in the west. Where is the person? Three sisters. One is in Abuja. One, as I'm talking now, is taking night bus, going to Lagos, going somewhere in the west. I didn't call anybody. I just gave a specific word for somebody. Eh? There are three. Where is the other one? One is going to in Lagos. You are here. One is in Abuja. Lift your hand. Where is the person I'm talking to? Lift your hand. Power of God. Break every spell. Somebody shall break. break. The curse on your mother's children. Everybody lift up your two hands. Every curse on your family. Can I say break? break. Shout it loud break. break. Shout it loud break. break. Shout it loud break. break. I'm not trying to embarrass somebody. But I'm seeing you holding an egg. It's supposed to be used for something spiritual. Uh, help her. Just see that. Whatever that egg was used for, I command that egg right now. Whatever it was used for. Who is the person I'm talking about? You're holding an egg in your hand. And it's supposed to be something for a spiritual ritual. You thought it was going to give you something. But it's become worse. I want to see the person now because that yoke must break now. You are not far from me. You are not far from me. Where is the person? Can I see the person? I'm looking for you here. Uh, I'm not trying to embarrass you. I'm trying to help you. Power of God. Break the curse. Break the spell. I buy the hand of wickedness at work. Jesus. Ushers help them. Can you lift up your hand? Any covenant with your name on it. Any evil covenant with your name on it. Let the covenant break. Let it 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 break. Somebody shall break. Somebody here, your money has been missing. Every time money just misses spiritually. Nobody physically takes it. It just disappears. I lift up my hand over you. And I command right now, whatever mystery is going on, taking what belongs to you, let that mystery be cut off. Amen. Let that mystery be cut off. Amen. Let that mystery be cut off. Amen. Let that mystery be cut off. There's a Christian that keeps hearing your name being called in the night. Sometimes it's a man calling you. Sometimes an animal calling you. You hear your voice being called consistently. I take authority over the power that's attacking you. Anything calling your name by witchcraft. Any altar we are emanating from. As you are hearing me, I let that altar catch fire. Amen. Someone shall fire. Amen. Any altar calling your name, let that altar catch fire. Amen. 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 There's a woman that's listening to me. Somebody gave you something to eat in the dream. 
you ate it and woke up with a swollen stomach that has refused to go down. You are not bleeding. You don't have fibroid. But your stomach is full and painful since that dream. Can that woman come to where I am now? Lekoto Bashaka. You are the person? Lift up your hand. Natele Koparata. I cast the root of this evil. Come! Come! Now! Be set free. Can you lift your hand? I command whatever the devil put in your life. Somebody shout, go! Shout again, go! Shout again, go! I hear exchange destiny is being restored. Lift up your hand. Whoever exchanged your destiny, whoever took the real you and left the empty thing here, I take authority over the exchange. In the name that's above, let it be reversed. Let it be reversed. Let it be reversed. Let somebody shout, be reversed. Shout again, be reversed. Be reversed. Be reversed. Be reversed. Be reversed. Stand to your feet and lift your hand. Stand to your feet and lift your hand. There are 27 young ladies that are meant to marry this year. But a spirit of resistance is standing on their way. There are 27 young ladies in this building whose wedding was meant to be this year. But a spirit of delay, a spirit of resistance has been standing on their way. Wherever they are right now, let the anointing pick them out. If they are ready for the church, if they are ready for a church, if they are ready for a church, if they are ready for a church, Father, wherever they are, everybody stand to your feet, stand to your feet right now, shout fire. fire. Lift your hand above your head. The 27 of you, the 27 of you, wherever you are right now, number one, let the anointing touch you. Number two, let the ushers carry them out here. Number three, let the anointing touch you. Number four, let the anointing touch you. Number five, let the anointing touch you. Number six, let the anointing touch you. Number seven, let the anointing touch ushers help the heaven. Number eight, let the anointing touch you. Number nine, let the anointing touch you. The yoke of delay is breaking. Number ten, let the anointing touch you. Number eleven, let the anointing touch you. Number twelve, let the anointing touch you. Thirteen, hey, 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 hey. Power. Fourteen, let the anointing touch you. Fifteen, let the anointing touch you. Or shall send them wherever they are. Carry them to where I am. Matele Kabarata. Jakatalata. Seventeen, let the anointing touch you. Eighteen, let the anointing touch you. Nineteen, let the anointing touch you. Twenty, let the hands of us have power. Yagadola Dosha. Twenty-one, let the anointing touch you. Twenty-two, let the anointing touch you. Twenty-three, let the anointing touch you. Twenty-four, let the anointing touch you. Twenty-five, let the anointing touch you. Twenty-six, let the anointing touch you. Twenty-seven, let the anointing touch you. Somebody shout power. Please bring them to me. Give me my oil. Stand them up. As the Lord live before whom I stand. In the name that's above every name. What you lost is restored back to you. Amen. The wedding is commanded immediately. Amen. Can I have the oil on my hand? Makatara Boshaya. Medrobosa and Teledoshaha. Barekoya. Oh, shall help her, help her, Let the yoke break. Let the yoke break. Let the yoke break. Let the yoke break. Carry them here. Maleko Bashaha. Now let your wedding be commanded. Yatolo Bosha. Yikakaha. Oh, shall say the Maledia. Ebrekoto Rabashaha. The yoke of delay be broken. Be broken. Be broken. Bread. 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 Somebody shout bread. Let the yoke be broken, 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 be broken. Come, let the yoke break, let the yoke break, let the yoke break, let the yoke break. break. Somebody shall break. I command the yoke, break by fire, 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 break by fire. Somebody shall Break by fire. Power of God. 
Let the yoke break. Amen. Somebody shout break. Amen. Let the yoke break. Let the yoke break. Let the yoke break. The 27 of them picked them up. Let the yoke break. Let it 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 break. Come. The yoke of delay. The yoke of denial. Let it break by fire. Let it break by fire. Break right now. Break right now. Somebody shout fire. Everywhere I lift up your hand and say no more delay. Shout it again, no more delay. In my business, no more delay. In my marriage, no more delay. In my career, no more delay. In my destiny, no more delay. Every one of you must be wedded within one year. Before one year, every one of you must be wedded. Power of God. Amen. Lift your hand and say, my father. My father. I don't think you came for VG. Don't let the rain steal your day. In the next few minutes as we are closing, you must have your testimony. Amen. Somebody shout my testimony. My testimony. Come to me. Now. 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 Do you know what it means for God to bless somebody? When I was walking, God said to me, as you stand there, proclaim a blessing. All of you here, can you lift your hands? No, those of you sitting down, I'm not talking to you. Can you lift your hands? Matolo koshata, e bareto lakataha, e koko kolakatikaha. The blessing of God make it rich and does not add sorrow to it. While I'm praying for these ones here, Anywhere you are hearing my voice, let the blessing locate you in the name of Jesus. Hey, hey. Lift up your hand. The first thing God is going to give you after you live here now. <laughs> and I know Shata. It's a connection that will shift your level. Hey, hey. Lift up the hand, lift up the hand, lift up the hand, lift up the hand. The spirit also has helped them. The spirit of the blessing, the spirit of the blessing, the spirit. Somebody help them. That's the power of God. Somebody help them. The spirit of the blessing. Let it enter you now. 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 At the count of seven, let the anointing for your next level land upon you. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, power. Move. Ento laba shataya. Ebro koto rebo sente le kapasha. Help them. Make andre bo sakata ladasha. Make akia keke prehe. People that forgot you remember you in one week. Promise and fail has ended in your life today. Amen. Promise and fail has ended in your life today. Amen. The Lord tells me to tell somebody, smallness will never be in your family again. Amen. Smallness will never be in your family again. Amen. Smallness will never be in your family again. Amen. Smallness will never be in your family again. There's a lady around here. I'm not trying to embarrass you. But there's a growth coming out in your female organ. And you have been asking God for healing. Please, can the person walk up to me? You are around here. I'm not trying to embarrass you. There's a growth coming out of your female organ. You've been asking God for healing. Walk down. Lift up your hand. Jesus, heal her now. Heal her now. Heal her now. Amen. Heal her now. Amen. Heal her now. Amen. Go! You are healed permanently. In Talaga Shakia Broko Trebuskia, Alakata Kikoko Parakati Angasha, Nadian Cricket Rebusata, Ebalato Kabasha Kia Cricket Rebuskia. I see two persons in your family a brother and a sister 
both of them suffering from mental problem I want you to please come and stand for them I'm passing through where you are now please can you move fast two persons in your family I'm passing through where you are now come God bless you I lift up my hand and I pray now both of them let it be reversed let it be reversed let it be reversed let it be reversed I cast that foul spirit never again family first free set free Shadala Koperito Bajakadala Dosha Break the yoke now. Somebody shall break. A logo dola kataha. Yegegi gagaga gagaga gaga shata. There's somebody around here. I'm not near where you are. Your leg gets so hot, you need to pour water on it. Can I see the person? That's a sickness you have been suffering. Your leg gets so hot, you need to pour water on it. Come quickly. Move fast. Move fast. Before I pass where you are. Anybody in this building, as I'm moving around, may God locate you where you are. If I hear you are amen, you have your answer. Can I have water? Anybody with water? Can I have water? Never again. Never again. Hepa. Never again. Never again. Power of God. Yes. The yoke is broken. The yoke is broken. Somebody shall break. Break. Shall break. Break. Shall break. Break. Shall break. Break. Never again. The yoke is broken. As I'm passing here now, Umbrika Hainia is disappearing. Amen. Where is the person that was having Umbrika Hainia? They'll be having Umbrika Hainia. Where is the person? As I'm passing, is disappearing. Check it now. Check it. Check it. Check it. Check it. Can you find it? No. Can you find it? No. How long has it been? Birth. You have had it since 2009. 19. 19. And it's disappeared now. Never again. Give the Lord a clap offering everywhere you are. Never again. Anybody want a miracle? Lift your hand and say, Father, Father. remember me. Show your message. Amen. Where is the person around here whose marriage lasted just two years? Where is the person? Your marriage lasted just two years. Come. Come. Move fast. I'm talking to somebody there. Move fast now. Was it poverty? Eh? No, I'm talking about somebody whose marriage lasted for two years. Not two years old. Lasted for two years. Who is the person? It's around here. Huh? What happened? Huh? Okay. Can you kneel down? The Lord give you back a future. What did you ask God to do for you today? What did you ask him to do? Eh? A job. So, 
you are one you're looking for restoration from this hour God has remembered you. The shame, the pain, God is wiping it away. Amen. And God is giving you a job and then commanding a relationship that will value you. Amen. I release your hope in Jesus' name. Amen. There's a young child, a child that is not up to 12. Just keep her. Let God finish. Let God finish with her. There's a child that's not up to 12 that stammers so badly. And uh, sometimes he stammers, they're almost chewing the tongue. Where is the child? Bring him. Don't worry, I'll get to where you are. The Lord is clearing so many things. Open your mouth. Tongue, lose in the name of Jesus. Lose in the name of Jesus. Lose in the name of Jesus. Never again. Somebody give the Lord a better clap of it. I don't know who you are. Lift up your hands. <laughs> hey, somebody shout, Father, show me mercy. Let me hear you one more time, Father, show me mercy. God say to tell somebody. That debt, I will help you to pay it. Amen. There is somebody in the last seven months you have been weighing blood. Can I see the person? The last seven months you have been weighing blood. Can I see the person very fast? The last seven months you have been weighing blood. Can I see the as I pass now? I move very fast, very fast, very fast. As I'm passing, you are missing your portion. Move immediately. Lift up your hands, Father. I command right now. Whatever has delayed their answer, let the delay be broken. Let the delay be broken. Amen. There is somebody here. You sleep in the night. And you see people in your family that are dead. And are sleeping on the same bed with you. I take authority over that spirit of death. It's not like a dream. It's so real. As if they are on the same bed with you. Can I see the person if you don't mind? Because those personalities must leave you alone. Walk down here. I command whatever covenant of death is speaking. Go in the name of Jesus. Go in the name of Jesus. I lose you from the spirit of death. Every power of death. Be broken. Be broken. Be broken. Amen. You will live and not die. Amen. The work of wicked helper, helper, Matele Goshaha, be cut off in the name of Jesus. Amen. Be cut off in the name of Jesus. In Trubuzaka Taladasha, in Bragadadadadada, I hear the Lord say, I will restore. I command somebody around me, you were up there and you came so down. And right now you are looking for restoration. As I speak now, let the mantle of restoration come upon you. Amen. I'm going to count to three. The person I'm talking to, you rose up and the devil brought you down. As I'm talking to you now, something will happen to you and the mantle will rest upon you. My father, who you know the person I'm talking about. In the name that's above every name, let the hand of heaven come upon him or her. One, two, three. Power of God. Move. Be restored now. Help them. 
Shagato Nakapa Nakato Kashaka Beyond Triple Saha Lata Power Power of God Mateja Hatalaka Whatever store your wealth Store your person Come in the name of Jesus Christ Amen. Be set free Be set free Be set free No debt Be healed Now 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 In the name of Jesus it will be far from you. A trebusa katala, a bangraka tarabushkia, a bato loco trebuskia taha, la anga gaga giga gaga, a broco trebuskia taladasha, ma anka kete here, lipaha. It's four years now you did the surgery. Instead of the surgery being healed, the place is still pending you very badly and it's always swollen. Can I see the person? Four years surgery. The surgery has refused to heal and the place is swollen. Lift your hand. As I'm passing where you are, God is speaking to me about you. That's why I'm doing what I'm doing. In the name that's above me, come! Let the curse be broken. Let the yoke be cut off. That thing will never repeat again. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Everywhere I just lift your hand and say fire. fire. Shout it louder. Fire. fire. Scream it again. Fire. fire. I want every human being in this building. Everybody that is part of this house stand to your feet. For any reason anybody is sitting down get them to stand now. For any human reason anybody is sitting down get them to stand now. Lift up your two hands. Let me hear you say, My father. My father. Can I hear your voice louder? My father. My father. You brought me to this altar. You brought to this altar. To show me mercy. To show me mercy. Oh, God. oh God. I receive your mercy. I receive your mercy. Now, if you have a prayer request, lift it up now. If you don't have one, lift your two hands. And then later you write your own. This is the last vigil. And this is the last time I'm praying over that request. Tomorrow it will be a thanksgiving. I can't hear your amen. 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 Lift it high. If you have anything that's a point of contact, you can bring it to the altar. Shabbatoho shahata. Limbrosa Katiakapa. Just touch the altar with it. I didn't say drop it there. Touch the altar with it. I didn't ask them to bring it. I just knew that they came with something. Touch the altar with it and go back. I didn't ask them to. So you don't say, oh, he told some people. No. If you are still one of them, come touch the altar with that baby material you came with and go back. You must have your baby by this time next year. Amen. If I hear amen, let it resound in this house. Amen. Let me see you lift your hand again and say, Father, Father you brought me here brought me to here. show me mercy. Show me oh mercy. God, oh, show me show mercy. Togo Boroko to Rebo Shakataha. Landeke, I just said touch the altar. I didn't say pray. All the people, all, if you came with baby thing, if you didn't come with baby thing, you can touch until tomorrow. It's not your word. Lift your two hands. Ah, compare to her. Lord, these men and women have cried out for mercy. I ask you today. Let mercy locate them in the name of Jesus. Amen. Before I pray over that request, I know in my heart there are people who are here today who need to make their ways right with God. Please, nobody sitting down until I finish the last word. You are here today. You are bound by an addiction. Evil powers are harassing you. You were born again before you backslid, or you have never been born again before. But you want Jesus to take over your life. You want a new life to begin. If you are like that, while you are saying this prayer with me, start walking down to the altar. 
married or single, young or old. Anyone that's ashamed of Jesus, Jesus is ashamed of the person. When you are bold in going to God, God is bold in helping you. And he wants to save you for time and eternity. He died for your sins. Pray with me and say, Jesus, forgive my sin. Take over my life. Break every addiction. Break every evil habit. I return to you. And I will serve you forever. Amen. If you pray the prayer to give your life to Jesus, come to the altar quickly. Move fast. Move fast. Come and stand with me here. I want to lay hands on you. Carry your bag and Bible and come. Today is a day of your restoration. Today is a day of your change of life. Young lady at the back, run. Young man in the middle, run. Today is the day of your coming back to Jesus. Move fast. This night cannot pass your back. Don't stay on your chair negotiating with God. Move quickly. Sir, as you make that move, now your business and career and destiny will move also. Because when you change, God changes for you. When you turn, He turns on your behalf. Move fast. I'm waiting, I'm waiting, I'm waiting. Move fast, move fast, move fast. begin to pray there's a man inside there you need to move now sir you need to move now this is your chance you need to move now you have been procrastinating you need to move now Season pass your by. You need to move now. Amen. While they're coming, there's a lady. Three weeks ago, you fell down in the kitchen, and after that, you lost your pregnancy. Three weeks ago, you had a miscarriage. After you fell down in your kitchen, you told God that you wanted Him to mention your case. If you are physically in this, you are the person. You are the person. And you told God you want him to mention a case. You fell down in your kitchen. You lost your baby. Come. Come. Nail down. Nail down. In the name of the one who called me. Before this time next year, you will return and you will carry baby. Power of darkness in this life. Break! Yes. Go! Go! I declare now, you go and be fruitful. You see, people of God, we are not playing a game. We are here to help destinies. Are you with me? If you have my voice, say yes. We are here to help destinies. This is not a game. God told me to stop what I'm doing and attend to her because she said she needs God to speak into her life. And God had her prayer. Can you give Jesus a clap for that? That's to show you mercy. That's the mercy of God. And all of you lift your hand. I speak into your life right now. Every power of darkness holding your life bound, I break it now in the name of Jesus. Amen. I speak the life of God. 
new life, new grace, new spirit, new mercy. From today, a new you begin. Whatever your loss be restored, your destiny be activated. Old habits, bondages, addictions die in the name of Jesus. The Lord make you new. And everyone shout Amen. Amen. They're going to attend to you right here. So give them the material, let them fill it out. Everybody lift up those prayer requests. We will continue the ministration tomorrow. Is that okay? Okay, I won't provide your prayer request. Come and arrest me now. I'm talking to you, won't answer. In my village, only mad people talk alone. I'm tired of being mad. I'm going home. Nonsense. I'm talking and they're not responding. What do you think I should do? Are you people hearing me at all? Do you want me to pray over your request? Yes, sir. Then wave it to the Lord and give a shout. And we have not even raised our torch all through the meeting to command light for a new season. Can you pick your request? After that, we're going to put up the light and raise our torches. And then light for a new season we begin. Lift up that request and wave it again with a shout. Somebody is shutting his mouth and shutting his destiny. Wave it with a shout. Wave it with a shout. Why you are waving it, let the anointing fall on it. Why you are waving, let an answer happen. Why you are waving, let the break to happen. Why you are waving, let the kingdom come. Shout amen like thunder. Amen. Hope the canopy helped some people. Okay. Those under the canopy, we love you. Thank you for bearing with the rain that came. The man of God finished. The rain has a right to come. <laughs> Lift up your two hands. Father, let everything they wrote in that request be granted. Amen. And let it be granted with speed. Amen. Whatever you wrote there, you will repeat it in January to please God. Amen. You will repeat it in October days of oil. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Where's my torch? Where's my light? Now pick up your light. You are going to light your destiny for a new day. Can I have? The light shines in darkness. The darkness cannot hold it back. I am giving you one minute to get your phone and put on the torch. Anywhere you are, inside, outside, This is the last prophetic action for this program. You dare not forget to participate. Lift it high. Wave it. Wave it. Is that a shout in your village? Wave it. The light shines in darkness. And the darkness cannot hold it back. Anywhere you go, let your light begin to shine. Amen. Let your glory show. Amen. Let your generation see your face. Amen. Let your voice be heard. Amen. No darkness on your way. Amen. No destruction on your way. Amen. No negativity on your way. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. As you live here now, you'll be the light of your generation. Amen. A city on a hill that cannot be here. Anytime, shh, anytime there's a problem in your life and you switch on this phone, 
and make this declaration let there be light immediately the intervention of God will come to that place Amen. wait I want to pray for mama I decree on authority of Jesus anywhere you say let there be light as you put on your torch let light show up there Amen. Jesus is a healer you came to look for him I lay hands on you on his behalf and I command your body to receive strength leg receive strength Amen. ankles receive strength Amen. I bind the power that has broken you down you Loosed in the name of Jesus. Amen. You are loosed in the name of Jesus. Amen. You are loosed in the name of Jesus. Amen. The spirit of infirmity let you go now. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. I declare over you that from now everything you believe for is released. Amen. Go in peace. Amen. Your testimony will not wait for long. Amen. Quick results. Amen. I release you in the name of the Father. Amen. Of the Son. Amen. And of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Please hear me. We are meeting tomorrow. First service is what time? Seven o'clock. Second service is what time? 9.30 in this place. Anywhere you enter bus, go there one hour to the time. 6 o'clock for 7 o'clock. And 8.30 to for 9.30. And then you can get to this place by the mercies of God. I want to see you. Yeah? I want to see you and I want to pray with you. Now those of you that are, those of you that came for the first time or got born again, or just started connecting to us newly. I'll have a dinner with you on Sunday night. Not here, in our other side. So that while we're having service here, they're preparing the place for you. So we don't have to do late. Five is five. Five is not 501. Don't be the one coming late after I start talking to people. That's not respect for the oil you want to bless you. So come on time. And let's encounter God together. And I want you to know, the Jericho match starts from next week Friday in the other side, every Friday 9 a.m. from August and September. First three days of September, Apostle Michael Robert will be here with me for another move of God. And I believe God. I know you have given and God will command you to help you to give more. In a few days' time, will set up this place. It costs money to do those things. Is that true? Uh, is that true? I will not uh, I will not promise you we're going to be here if we don't have the resources. We have to get it done. That's why I'm rushing to get it done. So that we don't keep struggling over there. We have oversubdued that place. Is that true? Uh, the place we have oversubdued. The, the place is begging us to go. We need to go. Even here now, he's begging us to go. That's why I told you here is not a permanent site. We the worker pass from here. Very soon, we announce where we are building our main auditorium. Give the Lord a clap offering for that. You are the best. Go and be the best. Where is the man of God?